then I'm, I'm writing beautiful day. I think it was, fuck, was it Thursday or Friday? Beautiful sunny day in Southern California. Fucking clouds are perfect. Everything's wonderful in my life, you know? Happy, tattooing good, you know? Um, making money, feeding my kids. Everything's great. Um, so then, you know, I, I think about like a couple minutes from the house. Fucking roll out. Just fucking thinking how much of a nice day it is and how like I'm going to enjoy my tattoo. Like I had a, a fun piece. I was like, hell yeah, this is going to be this is a nice fucking day. It's going to be a great day. Get to the corner of this intersection. And yeah, I roll up in front of this Prius. You know, fucking Prius, get out of the fucking way. <laughs> I wish I would let the Prius go first. <laughs> <laughs>
known for our customer service and like five stars and we're still five star yeah. and that's what we want to be known that's, as like a studio that takes care of clients so that's what's how up, do you man. do it by being iconic you know we want to be known as like go over there they're gonna treat you fucking right like royalty and we've achieved it. i mean we're still five stars See, you know yeah. nobody's messed it up yet Dude, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they got me a couple months in. Dude. Did they? Yeah, yeah. I was no. the only guy in there. And like, some people you just. You it's hard. Please. It's hard please. to please. Yeah. And no, we had explain one. explain some shit. And they're like, hey, this, I think this is the better move for you. No, I want to do that. Okay, but this will happen. No, I still want it. Okay, you do it. And if it fucking happens, hey, so what's up with that? I'm like, can I fucking just tell you? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I'm like, we had this conversation yeah. before we did this tattoo, yeah. bro. Like, It's you know? definitely hard, bro. And we had one that gave us a three-star, but it was like, it has nothing to relate. I think they were just hating on one of our previous employees. Dude. So I well, fought that way through. I you think know? you got one. You got one because oh. you never play back. I don't know. You're busy. busy. Yeah. You're busy. The one? Come on, dog. It's <laughs> busy. Yeah. Busy. Edit that one out, Carlos. I don't like that. <laughs> I, nobody's got one here. Edit. Five stars. The power of editing, right? Yeah. 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 Let's start again. Uh, no, <laughs> so no but it's hard. <laughs> yeah, and it, but it's not about us, man. It's about yeah, you today, yeah, no, bro. No, no. You know, it, it, I um, love, I love hearing the vibe is fucking awesome. So you know, your guys is, uh, I know a little bit. You know, mm, yeah, we painted together. You know, we've uh, we spent some hours together already, and uh, you know, I think were you already doing the podcast when we were painting? Uh, I think we started it maybe like a month after or something. Yeah. Uh, it was. It was pretty early on so for you guys that don't know uh, i met ignacio at the painting class i think with reno gonzalez we both started it uh what 2020 2021 last year yeah 2021 year. 2021 yeah um it was like march march <clears throat> april i think yeah yeah and then from there uh we just became friends and then yeah went to his shop we watched Which, that video yeah so <laughs> Watch me torture somebody. Yeah. Wait, what video, bro? I'm lost. It was um a tattoo uh, seminar. Oh, okay, I got you yeah. for sure. Yeah. He's like, yeah. we we'll watched that video. I'm like, what kind of videos are you watching? Show it, friends. Show it. <laughs> <laughs> roll it, roll it, roll the reel. <laughs> roll it. Oh, that's so, cool. Though. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys met at the painting class yeah. and yeah, got to know bullshit. each other. Uh, we were we were right next to each other, and I was just like, yeah, this is my spot. That's Josh's spot. You know, and it always felt weird. You know, when you, you have your fucking spot, yeah. and then somebody's in your spot, you're like, I thought we established spots in the first fucking day. So, like, I think a couple of times he was, like, somewhere else. I'm like, you're over here. Come back. Come oh, yeah, back. Someone took my spot. I you guys felt like elementary kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like that, I, I feel like I always, I always got my spot. Got to put oh. your mic a little closer, right? Okay. Bro. Yeah, okay. Andale, sí. Okay. Agarralo como si fuera el tuyo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Uh, Just try to talk like in the yeah, middle of it. In the middle, yeah, okay. Yeah, let me middle. let me do that. Yeah. So you felt like that. elementary kids, right there, like yeah, oh, this is my spot. A little bit, a little bit. Hey man, you know? you're my well, seat. <laughs> when we first started, we started inside, right inside. Yeah, the, we started inside the, the like a restaurant kind of uh, gallery, yeah. uh, wine winery. So we had like little tables, and then we had those little easels, and then we just painted from there. And we're like right next to each other, like mm -hmm. in a row, and Reno was in the front. With a whacking stick. <laughs> Filipino <laughs> fighting stick. Filipino fighting stick. In case you messed up. <laughs> That's how you mix color. <laughs> Are you yeah. going to get him in a, in a podcast or what? I'm oh, dude. To. Yeah. That'd He's be just awesome. really busy. You got to go kidnap him. Yeah. <laughs> He's close to us. He's right here in, uh, I think, Walnut. Kidnap him? Yeah. Go Roll yeah. up. Be like, Reno, what are you doing on Mondays? You don't do Hit anything anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wait, wake like, up right here. Hey, now you got to talk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you if you want to go home, yeah. <laughs> you got to <laughs> give us all the secrets. Nah, he's, he's amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah, now we're outside. Now we're yeah. outside in the... I, you know what? I At first, I was like, uh, but... You know what? After a couple times there, mm. the the breeze was nicer. You, you get to see people pass by. Not, you know, not this past weekend, man. It was so humid. Oh, stuff is humid because it's an old building. It's like the nineteen twenties building, so yeah, no AC in there. You yeah. get the little fan. Like, <laughs> you talk about where you got ten? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it's, it's hot. It's hot in there. Yeah. Duro. No, right now this is nice. This is nice, huh? Yeah, was you, guys yeah, good good. you guys pay good You guys pay good money oh, for that AC, huh? Yeah, hell yeah, we do, man. <laughs> premium tattoo studio. Premium. That Look means if you sweat, we ain't premium, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm hot, if you're hot, nah. <laughs> as soon as we see a, a, a drop of uh, sweat, we, we go. Like, whoosh. 
stupid. <laughs> Fan him down. Fan him down. Know. The Bro, knows. Knows. When, he was a, when he was an apprentice, he would be with the All the duties, uh, man. <laughs> How long did you apprentice for? A year. I was an apprentice for a year. year. Mm -hmm. Now, then, were you here seven days a week? Tell yep. Yeah, man. That's what's up. Seven That's days a week. You would work at, well, go to work at 5 a.m. to like mm -hmm. the 12 p.m. And then okay. come here to like 10. That's yeah. what's up, dude. That's. Yeah. So I'll leave when they leave, basically. Whenever that's how it should be. Both put on the grind, dude. Stuff. And then even if they left first and you had to clean stuff, you leave later. You know what's <laughs> crazy with him? Um, he showed us that people are still hungry to get to here because that's because I thought you know people are not gonna come for oh, a year, man. you know, yeah. and do that and or just you know they leave at after thir three months or something and they start making excuses. Dude, he raised the level for the next person, bro. Facts. Well, you, know? you guys got a new guy. We're we're working on it. We're working on yeah. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, we're always gonna. I think that's what we like because we we didn't do the apprenticeships. Right? Yeah, we didn't do the whole apprenticeship thing. But we know now. Look in hindsight, that is it's like a shortcut. You know what I'm saying? Apprenticeship is a major shortcut to it's a shortcut to learning, to learning mm -hmm. life skills. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Growing up, it's like. You know, because some people don't have that structure at home, even growing up. You know what I mean? And they come in here and there's rules and shit that ex is expected of them. And they're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> my mom's been cooking all my foods for me. You know what I mean? And washing my laundry like not today. You know, my so. mom cleans the restrooms. I got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the the I've never a good restroom, by the way. Dude, they don't know how to clean a fucking toilet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, clean windows, little things. Little I'm things. Like, I'm like, you change your drawers? <laughs> and it's not about like just cleaning, right? It's about like you d having responsibilities and earning earning your position here. You know what I'm saying? Well, you can't I, just be gifted. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But you can't I, just I gift think you a that's... skill. You're going to be making a fucking good amount of money in the future. Well, it's you're set for life. You know, it's yeah. it's a it's a career, a lifelong career if you choose it to be. And it gives you open the doors to, hey, you want to do sign graphics now? Or, hey, you want to do this type of artwork or whatever? You meet so many people in this this craft that it's wild. The stories you hear. SpaceX people, freaking Disney Channel, fucking celebrities. Uh, you fucking name it. You know, yeah. it's like you tattoo everybody. Drug yeah. dealers, cops. In the All same room. Aspects. Same fucking time. Killers. <laughs> <laughs> My killers. I... <laughs> I don't know, um, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's one of those. It's like you're a, it's like a pirate's life. You know what I mean? It's like you make your own schedule, you pave your own way. Like the, but I feel like that's why you also need that structure because that 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 uh easy way where you you can get lost so fast. Oh yeah, you know I mean, oh yeah, hey. Fucking start taking this. It makes your back not hurt. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And you're fucking in the corner fucking sucking dick for crack, man. <laughs> you can escalate real quick, you know? Your tattoos are shit. Nobody wants to get a tattoo from you. And uh, uh, you're fiending, you know? So it's tattooing. I love tattooing. Tattooing has given me everything to be able to support my family, um, to grow as a better person. Shit, it's... A lot of life lessons in tattooing and uh you know it's it's not a job it's a lifestyle you know how many years have you been in the tattoo since 2008 2008. 2008 i've been tattooing what was that 14 15 Shit, that's when i first started 2008 yeah <laughs> out of my garage no oh, shit and tattoo parties and hell yeah and see, then my he brother's garage, and then another see? other garage, and then my house, and then finally here. Damn, dude. Yeah. I. But you know what's crazy, bro? Like, sorry, bro? like, as soon as I went professional, like making it my life, you know, making my my living all, all in, in, all, all in. in you put your chips all in. Yeah, because before that, I was like half, it's, half in. You it's know? different. It's yeah. different, and it's uh, it's scary. It's super scary. Yeah. You're like, uh, if I don't tattoo, I don't eat. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you figure some shit out real quick. <laughs> you Did know? you start at a shop right away or? Um the first time I ever tattooed myself. How the fuck do you even go about it? So the cool way. I, I grew up I grew up I grew up skateboarding. <laughs> I, cool I grew up, I grew up skateboarding. And at the time I got married young the first time. 
Um, I got married at like 19. The first time? The first time. Oh. <laughs> um, got married at 19, moved up to uh, northern Nevada, Reno area. Uh, she was in the military, and, you know, I was kind of just going to school. I, I got sucked. Por pendejo. Um, <laughs> well, basically, I was at the skate park, and then uh, I seen some other dudes, like, you know, 19. They got tats and, like, bold black tattoos. And they're like, oh, yeah, this guy out of his house did them, you know? I'm like, oh, shit, okay. And I've always drawn in some sort of way or, you know, I like scribbly shit. That's, like, my favorite thing, like, little textures and scary monsters and shit like that that's like the shit that i love if i could just do scary fucking monsters all day mm-hmm. i'd be happy you'd be happy but you know <clears throat> it is what it is I'm, I'm working on now i don't know if you saw the ig there's more dark bio stuff so i'm starting to trying to do a sketch a day like for 45 minutes and just trying to see kind of throw it out there figure it out you know um but so back to i saw dudes with tattoos and i'm like shit i think i want one you know they look so cool like i want a tattoo and then uh they're like yeah yeah he's so cool he he will give you his your needle if he tattoos you so then when you come back just bring your needle <laughs> I'm like what <laughs> the fuck like you know and back then i'm like that still don't sound right to me. you know what i mean like, and then i'm like all right fuck it so i ended up uh <laughs> a couple months later, I, I got tattooed in, in town. The, the town was called uh, Fallon, Nevada. Dude was named John. And the uh, name of the tattoo shop was uh, Outsider Tattoo. That was a cool fucking name. I was like, like the movie or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Outsider. Yeah. So, dude, I guess uh, he did, had barely moved down there or up there. Uh, I guess he, he, he tattooed at uh, Hollywood, Sunset Strip. So for years, he's like, I just want to slow down, kind of. I'm like, okay. Like, this is the first one right here. So I was like, hey, let me get like a zombie charro, you know, like revolutionary guy, makes some roses, you know. He's like, hey, so what's up with those roses? Uh, or how do you want this style? I'm like, you know, like black and gray. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't fucking know their styles. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he's like, so like old school? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, old school, <laughs> like a vintage picture, right? I'm thinking like black and gray vintage picture. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, over yeah. here like, oh, like traditional. Like traditional. Yeah. But you had no idea. I had no idea. But uh, first tattoo. There it's in know, there. It's it's in there. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, I, like, hey, you want to? What do you want to do with these roses? Black and gray. What about a little bit of color? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of red. It'll make it stand out. It sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking got it. I'm like, listen, I still love the tattoo. I'm yeah. Like, you know, it's yeah, yeah, still, yeah. I'm like, it looks tough, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> I promise with yeah, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so I got tattooed and uh, uh, the rest was history. I kind of, I'm like, well, fuck. You can make a living? You can draw on people for a living? Yeah. You know what I mean? The previous job was like restaurant, freaking construction, you know whatever like shitty jobs so it's like yeah i want to draw people so i'm like oh well how do dudes uh get out of jail or prison fucking do it oh they little battery packs little motors so i fucking rigged a fucking <laughs> homemade rigged <one>. hell yeah <laughs> and i did this tattoo on my leg it's uh it's like a black flame it's like a skateboarding logo and i a guitar string fucking whatever fucking chinese indian ink i got myself I was there, probably went over it like four or five times, maybe three to four hours each time. Mm-hmm. I got it black. <laughs> well, it turned kind of blue, <laughs> 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 you know. So, uh, and the reason I did that was because I started. Uh, I actually this tattoo that I got over here, I I made in logo. Eddie's like chopping, killing a guy with an axe. I was gonna do it this fucking big on my leg. Mm. And I think I got to like three lines and the machine just, it was in the quick, rubber bands are important. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm like, fuck, I got to cover this up. So my, my first legit legit tattoo that I did was a cover up. Mm. So what you cover up with? The the black label. Oh, frame. the black label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, let me see. Kind of see here. 
But oh yeah, oh, yeah you packed that in, bro. It's fucking black. It's <laughs> yeah. black. You know. Guys, we'll film it. We'll film it and then we'll put it right here. Okay. Okay. The power of. Um, uh, uh, love. Okay. Okay. Try to talk more into the mic. Okay. PowerPoint. Yeah. PowerPoint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this mic thing's hard. You guys got it, it down. Right. You guys, you guys, we, this, hey, guy's hugging, it, bro. this guy's we hugging it. This guy's hugging it. Okay, so I gotta hug it like a, you know, like I'm holding on to dear lesson. life, but no me caiga. Um, so that was the first tattoo I did. So we got then, you into the shop. Well, I that was the only tattoo I did with that machine on yeah. myself. I don't want to ruin anybody else because I'm like, hey, that fucking took like a long time to do. I'm like, I don't want to do it on nobody, you know? Yeah. Um, and then I got it after this tattoo, so I'm like, okay, cool, fuck. And then uh, I think a couple months I got tattooed at Lowrider Tattoo. I ended up getting some script across my chest, um, so skate and destroy. Uh, this guy kicks did it. Jesus, I think I was like. 21 and uh freaking man that fucking hurt <laughs> <laughs> i was like the fuck, the fuck? hold so up need, so you need or what uh probably like a tight three um but his name was kicks i don't know if it was because <laughs> it fucking felt like a kick every fucking line he, it felt like i didn't want to breathe yeah. but at 21 you're tough you know, nothing hurts. Nothing. nothing fucking hurts. I got it off. You're too cool fucking, for school on that. Fucking cool. <laughs> All my friends didn't have any tattoos. I'm like, go skateboarding. I'm going to take off my shirt. Fuck you guys. You know, like, <laughs> skate and destroy. That's right. You know? Um, <laughs> fucking hurt. So then uh, after that, it really kind of, like, what do I want to do? Because I, I ended up moving back to Santa Ana, Southern California. She got stationed here and all that. So uh, she was going to go on deployment. And... Uh, so then uh, I said, you know what? I think I want to do this for a living. I was doing, uh, I was going to college uh, computer networking. So I was doing that. And then I'm like, ah, fucking ones and zeros, binary code, all these fucking formulas and shit. Computers talking to each other and shit. I'm like, <laughs> after two years, I'm like. I don't think I want to do this, <laughs> but I'm glad I figured it out two years in, you know, I'm like, you know what? I, I should do something with art because I remember in high school, my, my, my teacher was always like, she put me on blast. Like, Hey, um, everybody stop. Uh, I just want to say, uh, all of you guys here are, uh, yeah, you guys are good at art, but, uh, we have a real artist here. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know who the fuck she's talking about. <laughs> it's like, this young man here, I did a, a painting of this chick with like grapes and it was like, uh, just in, you know, gray, grays. And uh, I did that and she was super impressed. Yeah. And really no fucking guidance because she wasn't teaching right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you want to put out her name real quick? Uh, uh, no, you know what? But I don't, yeah, mm -hmm. she was just amazed. She just saw the natural artistic element you know and yeah. like, okay he's an artist okay fuck i didn't i look back i'm like that painting was <laughs> <laughs> i would like to see some of hers so she thought mine were fucking good you know what i mean like fuck that was shit and she fell into the job bro she wasn't an artist she's like and you you want to do pe or art <laughs> ah, fuck it i'll do art i'll be outside <laughs> probably Apparently that's how it is probably. yeah that's how it is i mean now i know that if you <laughs> well it's not not for every art teacher because reno's Fuck yeah. an exception. He's he, he's badass. Oh no, yeah, yeah. But this was in high school, right? Yeah, yeah. So no, I'm talking about in college. Teaching in public school. Yeah. Um, yeah, but in college, like you, you know, you have yeah. to be. Yeah, and, no? and sometimes, nah, some colleges, sometimes, yeah, I, I took a couple. I, I took art subjective. Well, I, I changed my uh, everything to art. I'm like, yeah, I want to be an art teacher. That's what I wanted to be. I was like, I'm not. I don't want to do computer networking. Fuck that. Hmm. It's good money, this and that. And I'm like, eh, fuck all that. I want to go do something that makes me happy. Mm. So early on, I kind of figured out that yeah. I didn't want to fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like like manual labor. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or like, you know. So I'm like, you know what? Let me do art. So go into the art class. And I've been taking art classes since, fuck, since they offered fourth fifth grade sixth grade seventh grade if there was ever a chance to do art i'm like pottery i don't give a fuck <laughs> fucking you know when you put all those colors and then you'll put a piece of paper and then now you have the design there the abstract stuff yeah you're doing I, I that did too? all that um wood carving you name it i've done quite a bit of things with 
different mediums. Uh, so then I'm like, fuck it. Yeah, I'll be an art teacher. Well, class was at 8 in the morning. Always <laughs> <laughs> oh something. Huh? I mean, er, 8 in the morning? Who's up at that time, bro? <laughs> Especially after a long night of fucking pounding beers and drinking. Like, hell nah. I don't want to get up. Other kids? Oh, other dude, people's uh, kids? Yeah, I'm like, uh-uh. So I did the art class for maybe a month. And uh, I'm sitting there. I think the first day was like, hey, we're going to do the grayscale. Okay, <laughs> cool. Fucking less than five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking class is like two, an hour and something, right? <laughs> that was the whole fucking thing. That was the whole, whole task. <laughs> we were gonna, supposed to do for a fucking hour. <laughs> and uh, teacher comes around five minutes later. Hey, how come you're not doing your, your assignment? I'm like, because I'm done. Like, well, let me see. Okay. Wow. It's perfect. <laughs> I stopped fucking going. <laughs> I stopped fucking going. <laughs> She's like, you want to teach this class? Uh, this was a dude. So this was a dude. Yeah, this was a dude. I don't remember his name, but I was like, yeah. You know what? What's that one thing? Tattooing. Hmm. Came back around again. Mm. Hey, you know what? Fuck that. How do I do it legit? Yeah. So I started Googling. Okay. You got to get an apprenticeship. Okay. Well, doors have always opened for me. It's the, you manifest things that you're, you're thinking about and that you really want. You're just, I'm a pretty big believer of that. And it might not fucking happen like tomorrow, right? but it happens along the line. I'm getting fucking goosebumps for thinking about yeah. it because it fucking Because that's true. It's yeah. fuck, you guys, you guys know what I'm fucking yeah. talking about. Yeah. I think we all um, experienced that. Everybody. And it, I think we have the power to access that on command. I haven't figured it out on command. <laughs> <laughs> I would have won the lot already, but you know, that's coming soon too. You heard it here first. <laughs> um, so then I'm like, you know what? All right, cool. So got to get an apprenticeship. Okay. So one night we were drinking at homie's house and then it was a whole backyard party, Santa Ana, that area. And uh, the I ran into this dude. It was a mutual friend of friend i didn't know him first time dude super super intimidating fucking tatted fucking you can see through his fucking ears you know like you almost put your fucking hands through his ear. <laughs> <laughs> he looks super intimidating right but you know as you drink people loosen up yeah and if you especially find a little common ground yeah you just start talking to people you know and they open up so uh he had a bunch of tattoos so then i'm like hey man like Where'd you get all those? He's like, oh, well, actually, I just finished my apprenticeship. I'm a tattooer. I'm like, no shit. I'm like, okay. So you remember I said, how do what I got to do? Yeah. Fucking there was. There and was. He's, uh, and we bullshitted for him for like the whole night. And, uh, you know, he's like, yeah, it, we're, you know, like I even end. And I'm like, he said, hey, you know what? We're, uh, we're hiring apprentices. <laughs> I'm like, what <laughs> okay drink up. he's like <laughs> he's like just show up show up bring some of your artwork you know and uh see what's up D don't name drop me yeah <laughs> don't name drop me <laughs> you know what i mean but just show up if, if you know if they're into it they'll they'll give you a shot you know it's a good spot okay so all right cool fucking bien pinche breaking the fucking you know you wake up all fucking crudo and shit i'm like okay hey fuck what's the name of that shop okay Sick dogs tattoo. Sick dogs. Sick dogs tattoo. They've been around since ninety. West, what city? Westminster. Oh, okay. So sick dogs tattoo. Mm. Special, special, special place. <laughs> um, I get it. <laughs> hey, hey. I know well, what you mean. <laughs> they've been around what? Uh, since ninety two. So what, that's fucking thirty Damn, years. Almost thirty years. Thirty years. So, exactly thirty years. So ninety two or ninety one? No, no, my acuerdo. 92? I think it was ninety two. Oh, two, um, two. They're rolling up on 30 years or they're at 30 yeah. years. But, uh, still open? They're still open. Damn, um, sick dogs. Shout out to sick dogs. Mm -hmm. um, Tattoo Land. Mm. Jack Rudy Shop. Jack Rudy. All this shop in that area, you know, since the 70s. Or, uh, don't quote me on this. I'm not very good with fucking. <laughs> and then uh, they got the Autumn, Autumn Moon. They're like second oldest or something. There's a couple other ones. So they're. they're you know, along the years, like shops close down, shops open, they're still open. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, 
So, uh, so then I went there. And I had a big old drawing of my kid, you know. He was probably a couple months, maybe like nine months or something. No, not there. Fuck. No, he's about a year. About a year, I want to say. And uh, so I go show him a couple other drawings. And they were really impressed with the portrait of my kid. And it wasn't done yet. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take it. Just, you know what I mean? Get some critique or whatnot. And, you know, I... I learned so much about tattooing because you're like, okay, tattooing, they fucking people, you know, know what's up, you know. Yeah. Um, so I went there. I got a uh, Frank uh, and Phil saw my my drawings, and they're like, okay, the owner's Frank. He's like, hey, what do you think? He asked uh, one of the his main artists. Hey, he's like, yeah, he liked it. So then uh, they gave me a shot. Mm -hmm. They're like, hey come uh i think i was i was working so i was like hey i can do i can do weekends you know what i mean they're like cool there's a spot Is there, we got another tattoo uh another apprentice we just hired so he's during the week you can do the weekends you know all right perfect so i was there for five or six months and then uh freaking uh ended up getting a divorce uh ended up uh going through all that and then uh quitting the tattoo apprenticeship you know after like, six months after six months i was like hey i can't afford to do this i got a kid oh, yeah. i gotta like i gotta work you know oh. you know so i was like all right cool so then did all that you know kind of still wanted to tattoo and then you know what i said fuck it i learned how to clean real good <laughs> I learned how to clean. I learned, I, learned, I learned how to set up, and I learned how to like, break down. I like that you see the positives and everything. <laughs> I learned how to clean. I right. learned how to break down. How to be sanitary about dealing with blood. Yeah. And I learned that that was probably the most important thing that I could have probably learned. You know, one of the I think it's the first thing you should get down before anything else. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm like, all right, cool. Let me tattoo out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm yeah. like, hey, fuck it. Hey, man, I hold this down with some opposite side. You're, you're straight. You know what I mean? These are all disposable. You yeah. know, I'm wiping everything down. So you're going to get a fucked up tattoo, but uh, you're not going to catch any hep, anything else, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's on you. <laughs> you know? So then I, I you know, I tattooed out of, out of my, my house, my mom's house in Santa Ana. And, uh, Fuck, dude. It was super fucking weird. It was like I needed to learn how to tattoo. I needed to learn how to do nice tattoos. And it was super weird because now you're doing $20, $40 tattoos. And somebody hears from fucking Riverside that you're doing $40 tattoos. They'll fucking drive all the way Hell to fucking yeah. Santa Ana, <laughs> yeah. get a $40 tattoo, mm -hmm. and like be fucking stoked, you know? Yeah. So I did that for a little bit, you know? Um, and then... Uh, you know, I, I met my wife now, um, and she, she's my girlfriend. She pushed me to, she's working, you know, fast food. And she's like, hey, you're making more money tattooing than you are in your fucking paycheck, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think I was only doing part-time because I was like, oh, well, I want to tattoo still. So I'm like, it, it, it makes up for it. She's like, you made 300 bucks in two weeks, dude. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You made... How much, you know, like 500 bucks in a day yeah. or like whatever, a couple hundred bucks. I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm like, okay, well, fuck it. Let me just, you know, it, it made, she pushed me to, hey, maybe you should just go, go all, in. all in, you know, and I'll back you up. If you, you know, you can't cover a bill or something or slow, I can back you up. So she was my sugar mama. <laughs> nice. She held it down, huh? Fuck. <laughs> Without her, I I wouldn't be here tattooing and talking to you guys. Wow. Because it gets interesting. Um. So then I'm like, okay, tattooed a little bit more of the pad. Started slowing down for me. Like, where are all these bodies? <laughs> <laughs> Prices <Yeah>. went up. <laughs> no, no, I'm still no, fucking yeah. fifty bucks, forty bucks, twenty bucks. Fuck it, you know. Yeah. Um, thirty bucks. How much you got? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? What's your bring, budget? Bring some diapers. <laughs> 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 okay, I got, you know what I mean? Um, so then uh, one of my friends that I went to high school, um, her sister was dating this guy that owned this shop. 
thing, like 10 minutes from my house. So I'm like, all right. And that was called the Dr. Tattoo. And that was in West Garden Grove or West Mid- No, Garden Grove, I think. So then uh, I go there, talk to the guy, Hugo. He's like, yeah, yeah, I need a guy. You know, let's check out some of your work. I brought a portfolio with all my house fucking <laughs> tattoos, ma'am. He's like, oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> I'm like, you're like, what? What? Okay, cool. Cool. He's like, yeah, I'll uh, tell you what. Let's just rent the booth. You know what I mean? And then you can still get walk-ins or whatever. I'm like, shit. Okay. Uh, okay. So. You're <laughs> <laughs> still processing it. Yeah, all. I'm like, fuck, okay. Did you know yeah. what rent the booth meant at that time? Uh, didn't really like I knew I had to give him fucking money <laughs> and uh, I didn't know exactly what you got into huh yeah so then I'm like fuck it I, can, I think I can do it you know I can yeah. do it so then I was there and guess what I didn't, I learned some shit that, that time oh hey guys I'm at a shop now yeah nobody follows you bingo <laughs> it, you know, I'm, I'm at a shop my thir- price have to go up a little right yeah 30 40 dollars not no more can't cut it no more 80 dollars mm-hmm. maybe 100 bucks mm-hmm. what do you you know but fucking crickets even yeah. fucking slower than my house yes and dude was fucking nice because he, he threw me a couple walk-ins so i could pay the fucking booth rent <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what i mean which yeah, yeah, yeah. he didn't have to fucking no. do that but i had a good attitude young kid willing to learn you know what i mean uh Hungry, and uh, dude gave me a shot there for maybe three months. So I was like, then uh, it didn't, you know, there's shop had maybe one, two, four stations, five stations, and I think there was only me and my other buddy trip. And then he was, had already been there for like a couple months, maybe three months in, he left. He's like, I'm renting the booth. I think there was some drama with like him wanting him to be there certain days. And dudes are like, I'm renting the booth, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not your employee kind of deal. You got to have those boundaries, I guess. So he ended up bouncing. I'm like, fuck. Then I met uh, my other friend, Koopa. She started working there. And then uh, picked up a lot of game from her. She was at uh, Boulevard Tattoo. Okay. And, uh. I was right down the street from Lowrider, and I guess Lowrider split to Lowrider and Boulevard. Mm, so she had that fine line game. Got it. Basically, Lowrider style. Yeah. You know what I mean? So picked up some game. I was, f- fuck, check this out. I was backstroking with coils mm-hmm. when I first started tattooing. The whole time. <laughs> tattooing <laughs> would take me forever. But then I figured out that. It gets smoother that way, <laughs> but it's a much longer process. Yeah. And you see David Vega backstroke the fuck out of everything, right? Mm-hmm. I wish I would have kept fucking backstroking. The whole <laughs> time. God damn it. The butteriness, you know? But yeah. And she's like, no, you got to push it in and do this. I'm yeah. Like, oh, shit, okay. Fuck. Bam, 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 Get bam. that crack, like, crack. And I'm like, oh, okay. I think I know what I'm doing. And this is. This is coils. This is coils. This isn't a rotary. Mm-hmm. Put it to voltage 7.5 <laughs> and uh, stick the needle out this much and go. And go. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. You better put that rubber band on there yeah. or else you're going to figure out that something's wrong. ¿Por qué le está saliendo chispitas? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, yeah. <laughs> or clean the armature ball or mm-hmm. get all that stuff. Yeah, Contact screw, uh, you know different fucking mm. gauge uh, back springs front mm-hmm. springs the How many angle machines were you running i think i had like one dude one, or sometimes one. like Switch contact. Out the needle? maybe two Switch out the needle i think i had two i had two oh, okay i had two i had a liner and a shader so yeah i, I ended up getting a uh, some machines out of this catalog and sent it to my house fucking. unlimited tattoos <laughs> <laughs> nah, no it was some something sailor something it, was, it used to be in all the old tattoo machine yeah. uh tattoo mags or whatever but uh and it's just like basically rip-offs of uh, Mickey Sharps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I still have those machines. I'm getting mine fixed. Yeah. <laughs> My first one. Okay. It was uh, from Worldwide. Yeah. Worldwide. It wasn't. I know it wasn't from Worldwide. It was somewhere in the East Coast. I don't remember where, mm-hmm. but. So I got my machines from there. So then she put me up on game. Hey, you can still hear. Let me tune your machine. Da-da. Okay. Damn. Yeah, you see like this. And her work's super fucking clean. She worked, so she worked next to Jose Lopez? Um, She worked at Boulevard. So, 
I guess they were like, I don't know the whole story, but I just know that they split. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So she picked up some game. So I'm like, okay. So then she put me up on some game. Hey, push. Don't backstroke. That takes too long. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, though. I was super. So she's the reason for your speed. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Because I was still taking a long ass time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're figuring shit out. You're chewing yeah. skin up. You know what I mean? It's a, uh, it's a whole tattooing is a whole process, and it's uh, so didn't work out there. Later, found out why my friends that I made there didn't stay there, even though it was a sweet gig. You know, five hundred bucks a month, like mm -hmm. you know, so. I'm not going to talk shit on this podcast because I feel like, for what? You know yeah. what I mean? It's, yeah, yeah. it's yeah, the past. Paso paso paso. And, you know. I'm, Look at the, you know. I, I'm super thankful. Thank you for the shot, Hugo. Uh, you know. Um, but so, I'm just telling a story. Uh, yeah. So, freaking ended up leaving. Went back to my house. Tax season. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> I learned about tax season, you know. My first tax season, dude, I was Craigslist. <laughs> uh -huh. Craig's fucking Offer list. Offer up. Offer up wasn't even a thing yet. No? No. No, this no, is. This is. What, 10? This 11? is 2009. 2009. You know, I think you said something very important that maybe our, if there's young artists that follow us on the on the podcast would take. You said something very important that I want to ref, I want to actually highlight. You're doing tattoos and you're thinking it's never going to stop. And all of a sudden, boom. The gravy chain ends. They drop. <laughs> gravy fucking chain ends. And that's just the natural flow of this, this gig, is, you know? There's this is no this. artists that I... Okay, maybe the f slight few that are prodigies or whatever. Yeah. Right? By the stroke of luck, they have like a lot of leads or whatever. Million, millions exactly. of followers. The reality is you get ups and downs, you know? You mm -hmm. eat steak and then you eat sopas cup of know? noodles man cup of noodles so is definitely the diet you need to learn life. how to like save when it's good you know save invest yeah you know manage your time better manage your money because um, there's gonna be sharpen times. your craft yeah. you know yeah. very important things that you figure out that hey you know what when you're tattooing all day you don't there's got time to do all flow. that you know what i mean because you're focused on hey i gotta do this tattoo so so you're back at the at your house, right? Tattoo so I'm back at my house. Your professional tattoo artist is now back at your house. Oh yeah, I, I worked at a shop. You know, <laughs> now he's at a pad. You know what I mean? Like, hey, <laughs> hey, you know what? Um, but uh, prices are you know not <laughs> prices you know? are it's fifty bucks, sixty bucks oh, now. 60. Oh, sixty dollars. Damn, dollars. And, uh, and, uh, oh, thirty bucks, twenty dollars. Uh, Maybe it's 20 bucks, maybe. Three not, I'll do $3. Three dots. Oh, my God. Three, three dots for, 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 for 20 bucks. He's asking how much you have anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Wow. <laughs> now he's like saying uh, I'm no taking phones if you don't got my money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking fucking phones. And uh, my street was fucking sketchy. Motherfuckers would always be like, hey, is it cool if I park outside? I'm like, yeah, you're fine. You're, you're here. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're here. You're, you're, you're cool. You know what I mean? You're cool. You know, I, I grew up with all these guys and... Uh, I went to skateboarding. They went to gangbanging. <laughs> <laughs> Selling dope on the corner. Uh, you know? So, you know, we're still homies. So it's like, uh, hey, boy, remember? We were kid flipping together. Come up there. Do you Come remember? There. <laughs> um, so, so I'm there for a little bit. And then gravy train, train ends again. Mm. Fucking the tax season's over. I'm like, oh. God damn it. Maybe I should find another spot at a shop. You know what I mean? Like, and my work was still... Mm -mm. It's okay, you yeah. know. It was it was housework, you know. So then, my chick lives uh, in uh, Stanton or whatever. So yeah, so there was an indoor swap meet, and I don't know. We were there somehow, and I'm like, oh, they, hey, there's a fucking tattoo shop here upstairs. <laughs> the fuck, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh shit, cool. People go get tatted and get People their get two. They were they're four busy. for they four were for twenty casetines, you know. Oh, dude! So is that like every indoor swami has a fucking? No, tattoo? I, it, it depends on who's depends. zoned for it. Yeah, you know. Um, Pomona has one. Uh, Anna, Anna, Anna has one. I yes. just went to it the other day. Yeah. Oh, dude! I just, I mean, just passed by. It was closed. Hey, there's early. some guys that get down. There's yeah. been a handful of guys. That I'm like, damn, he's getting down. I mean, it's a, it's a place to get tattooed. That's you know. Yeah. No disrespect. I don't know them. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Uh, it's just like a corner. Yeah. Know? It's just, I mean, fuck. Rent must be cheap. 
premium the sign will say premium <laughs> see, see. Um, so then I go there I meet uh, Sergio Husky that was his nickname Husky how about his Sanchez Husky's fucking Husky man he's big big boy and he was super cool yeah. fucking if I've ever met a hustler in my life that was like the main fucking hustler if I've ever made. He would fucking, yeah, yeah, buy these puppies for fifty dollars, sell them for fucking six hundred bucks. Like fuck, like flipping shit. Flip. He was a true. He was a. He's a master, master hustler. Um, so I learned how to spit game, uh, selling tattoos. You know the, the art of the art sales. of sell being a salesman. I See, learned from him. That's one important thing too. Um, that. A lot of people don't understand it is a sales game. You know what I mean? It is an in, actual. In the, in, it, it, it is. You got to eat. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The artist's not going to pay. I mean, later on, eventually. It, it, gets, it gets to a point where you're like, man, if you like it, just make the appointment. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, two month wait. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm very busy right now. Right now, right now. I don't know, man. <laughs> um, so then I met Husky. I was there for about a year, and he was tattooing better than me. So I was like, hey. So he put me up on some game, too. He had nice line work. Fill-in was nice. Nice, clean fucking shading. Um, Good, you know? So, and he's like, hey, watch this. Hey, so what's up? You want to get tattooed? Yeah. Well, how much do you think this will run me? Ah, that right there. Uh, probably like 300 bucks. And, oh, Really? Yeah, well, well, what's up? Like, you got a budget or, you know, you really want to get this? You know what? If you really want to do it, let's do it for, for 250 How's that? Okay, let's do that. <laughs> he's, all like, he's all like, you see, don't start with your fucking price. You're going to charge them. Start a little higher so then you can go lower yeah, well. and then fucking still get paid what you wanted to get paid. Yeah. yeah. That simple one was like that I one. I think what he did right there is he put the decision on the client. Not no, on he the, hustled him. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he did hustle him, obviously, but yeah. he made he made the client feel like he made the decision of yeah. saying, you and, know he, what? and he got a deal, and he got a deal. That's yeah. what I'm and, saying. And he got it without ni- feeling like he got sold, you know. And he got a nice tattoo. So then, well, that was the cool it was part. Probably worth it to him because I always say, dude. Yeah. Um, a person, you're only worth what that person in front of you is willing to pay you. Mm-hmm. One mm-hmm. day it could be five k. No. Day it could be five dollars. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You don't know. Oh you man, know you, you know how much when I give people a price uh, nowadays, and they're like, and they tell me they're looking at me like this. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you yeah. You, uh, if you, you ever get that, you're like, fuck. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> and I'm like, and dude, I'm not, I'm not charging an arm and a leg, because I feel like I'm like, well, you know, I'm not at like. 3400 for the day or you know whatever you know wow. i'm like hey you know what i mean i can fucking do all that in a day and you know like hey my day rate's 1500 bucks you know what i mean and they're like oh man i got quoted you know 20 hours you know and i do it in 10 hours or whatever half the time and people are like fuck like, yeah, I, I got quoted like three times as much as what you were asking for at another spot. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and I did it faster <laughs> and kept the same quality or, yeah. you know, better. Like, fuck. So sometimes I'm like, God damn it. I mean, that happens. And when you but hear that, when they automatically I'm, just say yes. I'm cool with what I'm charging. And I'm yeah, like, you know exactly. what? I'm, you question it after they say, yes, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm like, oh, <laughs> why? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and I just, I'm like, hey, man, I'm not going to. Charge somebody more because I know they got money. Exactly. Like, that's yeah. just that. Ain't, you have to be true to yourself. That, that ain't me. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the hustling days, I was hungry, man. <laughs> I, I had you know kid to feed and you know wife. You know, um, so uh, was there for about a year and swap me days. Learn how to pierce. Fucking tattoo better. 
And then uh, your sales game probably well, like I said, it probably got good there because all constant walk-ins. Oh, dude, they're passing by, and dude. you have to think on the fly. So we had an artist that like tattoo, tattoo, tatuajes, tatuajes, pasele, pasele, pasele. Yeah, we interviewed a guy named Mario day. Inks here. Mario he, Inks, he, okay. He did a, uh, like a year or something at a, at a dude in and he yeah. said that's where his sales game learned because you're constantly seeing people, dude. I you learned. Know? I learned the art of hustling, and if I need it, I could always use it, and I, I don't use it nowadays. But uh, would you like to invest now? <laughs> <laughs> no, got this <laughs> great spot, you know. <laughs> um, so, so then, you know, uh, I was the only guy in there. People kept on leaving. People, people kept on fucking up and getting fired. Mm. And I'm like, dude, like piercing everybody and doing the tattoos and then after a while like i was in there by myself people thought i owned the motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't mine and, you know and but i still treated it like mine and yeah. i still handled whatever i had to do and just did it you know because you know he was the homie and he gave me a shot and but then it kind of i got close with this other guy and he ended up leaving and i'm like ah. you know when you just kind of know it's, it's your time's over and you're just like you know what yeah and then I was drinking a lot too, you know, and and the owner was like, "Hey, you want to go grab a beer?" Sure, you know. And then like, oh, we didn't fucking tattoo. I didn't make any money. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, I feel like there was no structure there. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? It was too party mode. You too know what I mean? Mode. Where it's like, yeah. ah, it's too loose, and I needed more structure. Um, you know, um, I think. Uh, so then. I ended up going to this other spot and uh, it's called the uh, Spider's Den. And then that closed down and these three, uh, well, it was two brothers and uh, their homie, they went in and they opened up this, they took the lease over, revamped the spot. And uh, yeah, because I went to tattoo again out of my house. I think around tax season. Mm. <laughs> Collected. I see the pattern. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so then... Uh, the money ran out again, guys. Yeah, the, the, yeah. the, the gravy so like, train yeah. ended again. I'm like, fuck, I need to go back into the shop. <laughs> so then now I'm charging more fucking money. Right. I was charging like 500 bucks. Oh, so you know, ooh, the big dog right there. Oh, shit. Oh, watch yeah. During tax season or after? Uh, during tax season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it went back to like 200. <laughs> you know? I love um, it. I love it. So then I went there and I'm like, uh, you know, I've never had a problem with doing the split. You know, 50-50, 60-40. I've never had a problem because I'm like, you know what? I didn't have that clientele. You know, I don't have a clientele. So I'm trying to build a clientele. So I kind of figured I needed to make a home base. You know what I mean? I've seen a lot of tattooers and I was, you know, you get put up on game now. You're like, you're starting to see things. You're like, well, how come that guy's really busy? Well, motherfuckers in the same spot for the last 10 years. Motherfuckers know. Consistent. Consistency mm -hmm. is key. Yeah. So I'll probably say that a couple of times. Uh, I'm a believer of that one. Um, so be quote of the day, <clears throat> you know. Um, so then I I go and uh, I get a job there. Fucking super cool. I think I was there for like three months, and I might have done like. I don't even think I did a fucking walk in. <laughs> they just took over Spider's fucking den. Oh, okay. Spider's den was, was cracked out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it had a bad reputation in the neighborhood already. It's like, eh, I'll fucking go there. I seen some of the tattoos. Woo. Crystal meth is a hell of a drug. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so I'm like, you a Damn. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> that butterfly looked like it was flying so many weeks. <laughs> Swacked out fucking butterfly, you know? Um, <laughs> so then, uh, yeah, I think. I think uh, I did a couple like clown girls and stuff like that because those are pretty hood hood tattoos at the swap me Regencitas, Cristos, mm -hmm. names, polished up on my, you know, religious stuff. Yeah, just you know, and then uh, did a more little little more color stuff too. I started mm. fucking around oh, with the color, but in yeah. color, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. rays go up. I had, had color three reds. Oh, oh yeah, three reds, <laughs> three reds. Oh, Ask me how many reds I got right now. <laughs> <laughs> how many reds you got, bro? Fuck, maybe 12, 15. Damn, I got like four or five. So. Yeah, yeah, I respect. I have, well, I have a Fusion and Eternals full oh, color set. Oh, you cross brands? Yeah, it's the same brand. That's gangster. They, they split. And, uh, 
Safe I, I got I got pretty much. Um, I got bored of. I wanted to spice it up. Yeah, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm just tired of that, and been using it for the last ten years. You know, I'm like, I fucking know what color is what just by looking at it. You yeah. know, did you ever mix it to make new colors? Oh, like, yeah, 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 sometimes. I remember when we were in the garage. I was like, "Fuck! I need this color." So I'll Google, how do I mix this color? <laughs> like, how do I make? How do I make green? <laughs> <laughs> well, Miko, you grab your blue crayon and your uh, yellow crayon. <laughs> I learned how to make green while I was tattooing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put, a little, accident, you put like, a little black in the yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happened? I think I was doing uh blue. It was a flowers, no? I don't know what, but I, you know, I didn't know where which to colors to start with. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. So. I think I put yellow into the blue and, oh, it, and yeah. it started or the other way mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it smeared down. And I was like, shit, you know, this is, this is not when his heel is going to have a tint. So I told him, oh, we'll have to, uh, you know, do a second session to you know, make it brighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that was my way of hiding it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're masters of that shit. We have to be we, creative. We master bro, you know? fucking fixer upper fucking, <laughs> you know. Um, so then I go there. You know, and then uh, I'm like, fuck, man. You know, it's fucking slow. Yeah. Fucking slow. And I'm, I'm giving half, you know. So I'm like, well. And I knew it was just a matter of time. That shop was going to blow up. There were good artists there. You know what I mean? Um, but then I saw on my Facebook, Sick Dogs, now hiring tattooers. I'm like, it's a fucking sign. <laughs> it's a fucking sign. It's a sign. It's a sign. Definitely a sign. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go back to the first spot I started with tattooing and see if I can get a job. Huh. Because I was always, he fucking walked in there and he's like, you're the best apprentice we've ever had. Hmm. Like legitly fucking told me that. I'm like, I would shut the fuck up. I'd fucking clean fucking. Oh, so you have a little dust here. Let me wipe you off. You know, like <laughs> I was on that shit. Little dust. Like I was like, fuck, if something's dirty, I got to fucking clean it. duty. Dude, I fucking anything, fucking <laughs> bum shit duty, fucking you name it, I did it all. Oh, yeah, so I like, had those stories too, bro. Yeah, bum it's, shit. It's, you, you gotta wait for them to dry. <laughs> Definitely dry. You don't want to get them wet, dude. Wet is wet is rough. <laughs> Double glove. <laughs> you still remember that after all those years? Damn, yeah, that was trauma, yeah. bro. <laughs> you know what? They, I didn't fuck up, so they didn't treat right. me bad. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? I I didn't put myself in a position yeah. to get treated bad. Fuck that. I'm going to do my job because, you yeah. know, I want to learn fucking tattooing. Exactly. So, so I didn't leave in like bad terms. You know, I didn't just leave. I had a legitimate reason yeah. why I left. You know, hey, I got to feed my kid, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so then I hit up Frank. Hey, what's up, man? Um, you know, you guys still got that spot. And guess whose spot it was? Um, so remember I told you that they had another apprentice? Yes. So he fucking ended up get, being an artist. Whoa. And that time I spent learning how to tattoo and doing all this other shit. Fucking he 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 was just warming up my seat, you know. Uh. <laughs> so <laughs> so David left and uh, there was a spot open and Frank was like, "Yeah, man, we got a spot." He's like, "I've been because I seen him comment on one of my tattoos. I think I did like a a scrappy do a cholo scrappy do on my brother in law and." uh Nice shading, soft, you know. Very so, smooth. so he liked it. He liked it. My line work was, eh, I thought it was pretty good, you know. Which it was, but then shit happens. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, we'll get into that. Um, so then uh, he said, "Yeah, yeah, dude, um, come, come do a, a tryout piece. You know, yeah. your your black and gray is awesome, but I need somebody that does color, mm. also, because we're a walking shop." You know, we're closer to the beach. A lot of traditional shops. A lot of we're in uh, West Minister is a heavily Asian community, so Japanese master. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So then I went. You fake and, it till uh, you make it, dude. Uh, I had to do a color piece, and I couldn't get anybody to get a color piece. I'm tattooing out of Santa Ana, fucking Garden Grove. Everybody wants black and gray. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So my wife was like, hey, well, let me get a color rose. Oh, shit. You know, do a color rose. Like, are you sure? And I'm like, <laughs> fuck, sure? dude. I'm like, fuck. Because I only got one red. Oh, man. 
Oh, you had three. Oh, three. pardon. Sorry. Three. <laughs> three and black. So that's. Oh, and some white. That has two hues. That's, yeah, that's five. five. That's, that's a, five, That's a whole, you know. Um. So then I'm like, fuck, I'm going to fuck up her arm. Because <laughs> like I was doing color tattoos, but they weren't like. Where did you put it on her arm? <laughs> fucking right here, dude. Oh, right here. <laughs> right here. So we had a whole fucking plan. You know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, dude. Um. All right, fuck it. Yeah, she's fucking down. She's my ride or die. I fucking I love her. You know, she sacrificed her little arm and uh, <laughs> she got us in. She got us fucking in. She got dude. you in. She got me in. Started the whole empire just with that. She got me in, dude. Well, <laughs> she she told me to quit my job and pursue tattooing. That was, that you was know, it. that was when she yeah. really started it. Um, and she was just my girlfriend at the time, but she was already, you know, like. I see something good for this guy. Uh, <laughs> let's polish him up a little. Polish <laughs> off this, I'm your sugar mama jam. now, but uh, later I love I'll, you. I reap the benefits. <laughs> it's like planting a tree. Uh, we'll <laughs> we'll collect, uh, collect those fruits later. <laughs> long term. Long term, baby. Long term. Long term. Long term. <laughs> Secure the bag. Um, <laughs> Secure the bag. No, I didn't like that. But, uh, um, <laughs> That's cool, man. She believed in you. Sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah, she did. So then... Uh, so then I go do the tattoo, fucking nervous as shit. And this is the most, this is like tattooing for me, the professional setting, how a shop is ran, how the quality of work, you know, besides Lowrider, and I was only there for one tattoo, you know, um, John had a sweet setup, but it wasn't, you know, Sick Dogs is, they had fucking commercials, dude. Fuck. Sick Dogs commercials. You guys can look them up. Um, they had sick dogs commercials. So uh, you definitely felt the vibe. It was like a different level. It's right here. Yeah. It's right here. And they're advertising. We have the best artists in Orange County. Shit. Bam. They're saying it like that, you know? So I'm like, I, I felt like that's somewhere I wanted to be. And like, I'm like, yes, that's a spot, you know? And I felt at home too, because I, I got along with all the guys and like, I already knew some of the guys. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And there's a lot of tattoo history in that shop. Um, so... I go in there, do the tattoo. So, and at this time, I was watching Mike DeVries, Nico, fucking color, fucking instructional videos, right? And I'm doing stuff without lines and shapes and shades in 2011. So it's still like there wasn't a bunch of real, a lot of color dudes. Like, I feel like right now it's fucked. It's amazing. Of, yeah. You know, they have I mean? a lot of references to right now or like what's possible uh -huh. and like all the, you know, people learn some shit like, hey, don't use that color. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it looks good on the bottle, but not on the skin. No, no, no. See, the cabron. Eh? <laughs> um, so then I did the tattoo and uh, Frank's like, okay. He looked at it. He didn't know what the fuck to think because <laughs> it wasn't, people weren't doing that shit. Okay. You know what I mean? So then there was two guys there, Phil, the guy that originally saw my drawing, and then this other guy, Craig. And Craig's been tattooing for a long fucking time. It's fucking Corey Miller, fucking Dringenberg, Dringenberg's brother, fucking all these like really good tattooers, like even back then, like they all know him. And he's yeah. a he's a fine artist. He's a badass. Craig's a badass. Um, fuck. Tattoo machine that runs on sound. I don't know if you ever finished that, but fuck. I, I fucked it up. For <laughs> 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 he made a power supply that uh, you can drop in the water and it'll still fucking work. Really? You can fucking drop it, crack the shit out of the floor and it'll still fucking work. He's badass. He's a mad fucking scientist. He doesn't think the same way we do. Fucking talking about... Yeah, I can make a death fucking ray fucking with this, this, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then don't get into history with them and like yeah. uh, the occult and like uh, all that stuff. Conspiracies. Oh, dude, dude, he's. Bad. Oh he's man, I, cat. yeah, he's he's super smart, dude. He's super smart. Um, so he asked Phil, and Phil was like the prime fucking guy there. He was like worked his way through the trenches and just like. Clean, fucking nice tattoos. Roses, color roses, color tattoos. Solid, you know? That's Phil. Phil's like, mm, I don't know. 
bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then uh, he asked Craig. And Craig's... Oh, no, Craig wasn't there. Craig saw the tattoo later, you know? I think like a month or two later. And then... But Frank... I made that good impression of like fucking being a good apprentice cleaning. And then he saw I put all this fucking work. You might learn how to tattoo by my fucking self pretty much. You know, he gave me a shot. He said he didn't, he didn't know what the fuck to think about the tattoo because he wasn't really an artist. You know what I mean? So kind of, well, let me go to this guy that, you know, does nice tattoos, see what he thinks. And he was I, I kind of got like the, mm, you know, like, mm. but uh, the hater version. I don't think it was hating. I just think, uh, you know, his definition of uh, realism at the time was dark to light. Mm -hmm. And that was it. As long as it's a color fade, dark to light, like that's realism. Me, I'm putting, making that fucking petal back there fucking brown, you know, (laughs) and giving it hard contrast and trying to add the texture, all that shit. And I'm like, you know, so if like you do that wrong, you can fuck that up real quick, you know, but her rose is good, you know. I have to touch it up a little, but, you know. <laughs> um, so then, uh, yeah, I think months later, I, I, my wife was there, and uh, Phil, uh, Craig's all like, hey, did you do that rose? I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, but uh, I Phil think. said it wasn't like, he's like, no, 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 fucking don't listen to Phil. Dude, that's fucking badass. Um, I fucking got the fucking, that was badass from fucking Craig. I'm like, damn. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> fucking Phil, fucking shit talker. Nah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, you're young. You don't know. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, don't know what's wrong. like, I knew what I was trying to do and somebody else saw it that's at that level of yeah. processing and like knows what's up. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay, cool. Fuck, let me run with this shit. So then got married to my wife and uh, had my... Had my daughter, or no, had my son, my second second born there. Uh, then we had my daughter there. So I was there from like 2011 till about 2017. Oh, wow. So that was home base. And, uh, you know, by the end of the, the time there, I was the busiest guy there. Wow. And uh, hungry, young, you know. Um, so my dumb How ass. How old were you at this time? 2015. I was 20 something, 24, 25, I think. Mm. So then, uh, I don't know if my fucking timeline adds up, but I, I think. <laughs> you're 20, mid 20s. Yeah, mid 20s. Yeah, I got married, <laughs> I think I was 25 and she was 24. Wow. So, like, you know what I mean? So, um, so then uh, I decided to get a motorcycle. Because I already know this story. So. Because you're you're a boss now. You're a resident uh, tattoo artist now. Well, you know, like now it's like, dude, I'm making fucking money. Even though at uh, it's sixty forty or whatever, yeah. Like, I'm fucking making fucking money. Like, right. I'm like, dude, I've never had to like go to the grocery store and like I don't got to worry about like how much it costs. Yeah. Yeah, you go ahead and get it. My wife and me grew up like that. Like. You know, we didn't fucking grow up like with a bunch of shit, you know? Right. Um, so that was one of her fears, like putting shit back when you get to the cashier line. So for fucking a good year, she'd be like, Can we afford that? I'm like, Yeah, we can. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I've like, been there, man. Yeah, I've been there. yeah, it's fucking, yeah, we can. Like, yeah. don't trip. Like, it, it took a while, you know? Yeah. And then uh, so I'm like, Yeah, man, I'm going to get a motorcycle. My ride to work is only 10 minutes. Uh, I'm not even going to have to take the freeway. <laughs> right? Safe. Right. Sure. <laughs> sure. So then, uh, you know, I think there's uh, levels in, in your tattoo career and just in life where you figure shit out. And uh, I think every single spot that I ended up, I, I learned a different little piece that I needed to get to where I was going, you know, and a door opened. So, so I got this motorcycle. A little sporty, uh, 1,248, fat tire, cafe racer, fucking dipped. Uh, so I'm riding this fucking thing. I, I think I dropped it once. I took a spicy turn. And, you slid. Uh, 
No. <laughs> so then uh, my peg, there was a dip and it, it dipped down and somehow my peg hit the floor and it boop, lifted up my bike, my back tire, and then my tire came down oh, yeah, yeah. and then it just fucking did this thing. like. Yeah. That's what Ooh. the bike did. Just like yeah. as I'm fucking turning. I grew up skateboarding, so I'm quick on my feet. Duck and roll. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, hell yeah. I, I think I... I fucking flew and I, I, I landed standing up. <laughs> like Walking away from me like, like a fucking cat, Like a cat, yeah. <laughs> and little did I know there was this girl because she thought I was going to hit her because I was turning right here. There's a car coming and I'm like, this happens. And she thought I was just going to like run into her and lose control. Later, like maybe a year later or some shit or a couple months later. No, I think, fuck, I don't know how, how long after, but that same girl that saw me fall was at the shop getting tattooed. <laughs> oh, crap. And I think I still had my boot or some shit. And she's all like, oh, what happened? Or like somehow it, it came up and she's like, I seen you. <laughs> I'm like, what? You saw me? You did that stunt. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shit. Okay. So I dropped the bike. You know, fucking get it fixed. It's like a couple months, like a month or two to get it fixed or some shit. Get it back around Christmas time. Back on two wheels, fucking happy. I'm like, fucking everything's perfect. I'm making money, happy. You know what I mean? Everything's going great. Awesome. Um, I think that same year I did a art show, uh, the Solar and Culture Clash art show. Is that the one at the Iron Ink or Ink, Ink and, and Iron? Iron? I think it was the one before. Oh, well, you were wearing the shirt, no? Yes, I had this painting on there. And everybody thought this was a Lance painting. Yeah, so, I was gonna tell you, you wearing a lounge shirt? Or what? No, this is mine. <laughs> this is mine, baby. <laughs> so, so everybody thought it was a Lance painting, so it was getting all this kind of hype. And they're like, "Oh no!" Jeremy was like, "Oh no, this is a new guy." You know, I'm like, oh, "Okay, cool." Hey, there's a lot of hey, we talked. You know, went down to Solon, and dropped off the painting. I wasn't even supposed to be in this art show. Uh, uh, so we'll go back to after be, this is before the motorcycle. So I wasn't even supposed to be on the art show. So I think I posted the painting. I finished it. And then I know Solon was doing that thing, the art show. So then I just tagged it, Culture Clash Art Show or whatever. I didn't expect anything out of it. You know what I mean? And then uh, freaking uh, in the fucking morning, I just hear my phone do this. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I didn't fucking know. Instagram. I'm like what the fuck? And then I see a fucking some messages, fucking Phil. Hey man, I don't know if you checked your Instagram, but uh, uh check it out. Uh, Solon just posted your painting. Congratulations, man. I'm like, what the fuck did I win? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so then I'm like, okay, go on there, and uh, that was their first post for the show, and it was uh, wow. it was supposed to be like beach themed culture clash, like beachy vibes. The <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> so tequila there. I mean, so uh, homeboy got a tan in the beach, maybe. <laughs> that's his, he has his last gold coin and there his shots go. empty, and he's that's this is the so, end of the line. Uh, this is it. <clears throat> um. So then, go drop off my painting. They're like, hey, we want you to. I think chick that was running their Instagram and their marketing or something was in charge of whatever. She's like, hey, bring down the painting. We'd love for it to be in the art show. I'm like, okay. Oh, before then, Phil was talking shit. Why did I tag my painting Culture Clash? Mm -hmm. Like a day later, he was talking shit. Why'd you tag it that? Like, it's not even the themed. <laughs> I'm like, I don't fucking know, man. I, mean, I just fucking tagged it. <laughs> like say, congratulations, buddy. I'm like, <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. You know what I mean? This is the first guy to fucking say congratulations. That was yeah. cool, you know? Um, so... Freaking, uh, I do the show all of a sudden. Oh, is that for sale? Ooh. I think uh, the cap for the prices were a thousand bucks for the paintings. And I'm like, I told Minimum them. more. Yeah, uh, that, oh, that's the most you could charge for. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I think they get a cut. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to sell it. You know, I can I just, you know, I, I want my painting. Like, I don't want to sell it. And then I think I got a couple offers for more than the thousand dollars. And uh, I still didn't fucking sell it. You didn't sell it. Wow. I didn't sell it. But 
Remember, I got a motorcycle. <laughs> okay. Now goes back. Yeah, I know, right? Now goes well, back. I think the motorcycle is one of my most important life goals or no uh, pinnacles of like growth, lessons in life. Fuck. Yeah. All right. Let's, okay. Let's so, hear it. so let's I mean, go. I wonder it, like what happened. <laughs> Well, so I'm Bro, driving he's, home. He's and good you know, at creating the suspense right here. You know, I, I, you want a good podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then, tell uh, us. Tell us. So then I decide uh, running around, running around in the motorcycle, having a blast, you know, every fucking day. One car doesn't see me. I'm almost fucking get hit like every fucking day. I didn't know that your chances of getting hit in a motorcycle go up by 95% if you ride it every fucking day. Mm. So the chance of you getting hit on a motorcycle, if you ride it every day, is 95%. That's, you're going to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you're going to get hit. I didn't know that. I'm like, cool, I'll just get rid of my truck and I'll just ride the motorcycle. Rain or shine, I don't go, fuck. I yeah. love this shit. You know what I mean? I'm going to ride it. I don't go, fuck. I pour a little back. Especially uh, on sports there. Oh, dude, it's so horrible. horrible. Oh, you know, you yeah. got an iron. Yeah. So, uh, so then I'm, I'm riding. Beautiful day. I think it was... Fuck, was it Thursday or Friday? Beautiful sunny day in Southern California. Fucking clouds are perfect. Everything's wonderful in my life, you know? Happy, tattooing good, you know? Um, making money, feeding my kids. Everything's great. Um, so then, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about like a couple minutes from the house. Fucking roll out. Just fucking thinking how much of a nice day it is and how like I'm gonna enjoy my tattoo. Like I had a, a fun piece. I was like, hell yeah, this is gonna be this is a nice fucking day. It's gonna be a great day. Get to the corner of this intersection. And yeah, I roll up in front of this Prius. You know, fucking Prius get in the fucking way. <laughs> I wish I would let the Prius go first. <laughs> <laughs> so uh so then light turns green. Everybody stopped on the right-hand side. There's one, there's a turning lane, there's another lane, another lane, and then another turning lane. So, was that four lanes? Mm -hmm. So, the first, four or five lanes, I don't know, remember, but it was like two or three lanes before everybody was stopped. They got a red light, they're fucking stopped. In between the turning and the other lanes, there was an empty lane, <coughs> almost out of the intersection. So then, fucking light turns green. Everybody stop. Cool. Cool to go. Dude. I fucking see. Catch it at the corner of my eye. Fucking see this. Fucking bends. Hauling ass. And I realize they ain't stopping. And the first. This has all happened within seconds in my brain. I'm like, fuck. I'm going to get hit. Okay. So what's the plan of attack? Okay, try to fly that way. Don't fly over the car. And then, uh, you know, um, and then a sudden thought of like, I might not make it out of this. Damn. So then I fucking fly. Fuck. Let's see if I got hit probably over there by the chair. And then I probably ended up around over here. So yeah, he does end up hitting you. Oh, she, and, she ended she. up hitting me. So you flew like 30 feet. Good 30 feet. Asian lady. <laughs> Pobrecita. Um, so she fucking hit me. I fly. <laughs> fucking slide still. Fly up to the wall. I'm fucking sliding. See this Tahoe or this fucking SUV. And I'm like, fuck, I'm not dead yet. Okay, cool. And then I'm fucking sliding. I fucking go. You can actually be in that moment of sliding. I, I grew up skateboarding. Oh, okay. It's, time yeah. slows down. It's weird. It's fucking weird. Okay. Get, I'll, I'll get show close you my, to the I'll mic. I'll show so you my video. Get close to the mic so we can hear the rest of I, this. I, I'll show you my videos and stuff. But, but uh, you know, you got to react quick with certain situations. And uh, if I wouldn't have skateboarded, it's like I was training my whole life to skateboard for this, for this moment. fucking moment. <laughs> yeah, because you analyzed it. Yeah, you it, analyzed it. Was it was like, like, shit, I'm going to get hit. I, I grew Do up, I go towards the the momentum or dude, away? I grew up jumping off of 10 feet, fucking 12 stairs, 13 stairs, rails, like calling ass on a fucking piece of wood that's not stuck to me. <laughs> like, yeah, I get you. I've eaten shit a lot. 
Um, you know, so then I'm going and then I fucking slide. And then this SUV, I'm like, Jesus. So it was a little lifted. I had my helmet. You know how helmets are? They're fucking yeah. big. So my helmet was able to. You wearing a jacket or nothing? Dude, I was, I was super about jackets, fucking nice boots, oh, okay. jeans. So at least you had I didn't protection. want no fucking road rash. Yeah. Fuck that. Um, I've heard stories. Like, ooh. Um, so then this SUV, you can see their fucking engine. <laughs> we were almost changing the oil and shit. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck. I'm like, dude, I was You almost saw so the serial number off from the fucking oil yeah. pan. I was so happy that it wasn't a car, a low car. Oh. Yeah. If it was a low car. You would have gotten stuck in it. I would have gotten hit, broke my neck. I would have probably been done for sure. Got it. So you so pretty much I slid. escaped death twice. Okay. Mm. So then dude backs up. I had a knife on me and I always had my knife and it was kind of easy access. It comes off nice, you know? And that was one of my fears. I'm like, well, if I ever get into a wreck, I hope it doesn't stab me. So the yeah. first fucking thing I do is check. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing hurts here. I'm not fucking bleeding from nowhere. I'm like, I can breathe. Little fuck adrenaline's going, you know? And then I'm like, cool. I thought to myself, I'm going to walk out of this one. Clean. Clean. I go to stand up. Fucking drop. I'm like, oh, fuck. What the fuck? I, it's my foot. She hit me on the right-hand side. Fucking all the impact was in my foot. So now... Let me check if it was real. You <laughs> saw <laughs> 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 I'm glad there's content context to this. <laughs> so, so fuck, dude. I'm like, god damn. Like, I was trying to remember. Like, did this guy come in limping? <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, I, like, so, it, I, he, he might have seen me yeah. limp a couple of times. Um, when it gets cold, it hurts. Um, so I got me a peg leg. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so then I look at my foot, and <laughs> this is my foot, right? Yeah. And all of this is split fucking this way. Ouch. Bones coming out of that way. Oh. Bones coming out of my fucking toes. What the and obviously fuck? I couldn't see all that because I had my boot, but I had these heavy duty construction boots, like Harley Davidson construction boots. Heavy fucking duty. Those boots were split in fucking like half. And then uh, my peg went into my fucking engine or whatever. So like if metal goes into fucking metal, my little flesh <laughs> had no fucking business. Diced. Fucking. Oh, dude, it got shattered. Shattered. You don't want to hear shattered when you break no. bones. Like, you think of shattered like <sighs> windows I'm shattered. Those bones. Okay. I'm trying to imagine this. So then I fucking, I'm like, oh shit, fuck. Damn. All right. Fucking all the paint set in. I'm like, fuck. And then uh, everybody fucking gathering around me and shit. And then, uh, like, all right, fuck, man. Like, you know, there's a couple, all right, it's, it's felt like an hour or some shit but i I, i'm I'm guessing it was like 10 minutes or something you know ambulance came blah blah blah. fucking mencuadron right there they took all my clothes off they cut everything i was wearing brand new 501s dude brand fucking new (laughs) fucking stonewashed (laughs) 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 they cut me everything i think they only left me in my underwear no no they they might have yeah they might have fucking everything they fucking got me naked right there in the street and uh, I still pass by there all the time. And I just, I'm like, Oof. wow. And then I'm like, hey, that's where I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so then, you know, they get me in the ambulance. And then I'm like, fuck, okay. Well, let me call my wife, you know. I call her. Ring, ring. She's not picking up. I'm like, fuck, man. So I call her grandpa because we were leaving with them at the time. Hey, what's up, fishy? Because that's, you know, he calls, he tells me by my nickname. Like, hey, what's up, grandpa? Hey, is Christine there? Yeah, she's right here. Oh, hey, let me talk to her. Hey, what's up, babe? Hey, hey, babe. Um, I got hit by a car. <laughs> Almost died. I got hit by a car. Um, I'm going to the hospital right now. Talking to her like this, like normal, right? And she's all like, what do you mean you got hit? She thought I was fucking around. I'm like, nah, like I got hit by a car. And then she, she's like, she was kind of in shock. And then she thought I was fucking around. But then she heard the sirens. And she's like, which one are they taking to you? Uh, Fucking... UCI or whatever, fuck, I think that's the name of the hospital, but, so then, 
you know, I'm like, yeah, just just call the guys at work. Tell them I'm not going to make it today. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm having thing. a rough day. <laughs> that was the first fucking thing. Hey, okay, let them know my, oh my, my, my appointment ain't going to make it today, you know? Like, I'm like, fuck. I'm like, shit, okay. So she's fucking, they take my ass to the hospital. They don't give you no fucking drugs. Well, they're fucking, because they, they want to make sure that everything's cool. And a lot of people ask me, hey, well, did you pass out? I'm like, God damn, I wish I would have passed out. They're like fucking waking up all doped up. They would have figured out what they had to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It would have been good. But then also I'm like, well, you're out and trauma to the brain. I'm like, maybe, they don't, you know what I mean? Like, maybe so they don't like, want you to. Yeah. So then I go, fucking, I get in there. They fucking, dude walks in there, sets my fucking foot. I can see my shit. I'm like, fuck that. I fucking hold up. And I'm still in adrenaline mode, you know? And then yeah. everything started getting cold, fucking going into shock and shit. Then my wife gets in there and she fucking sees me. She's like, fuck. Like, she didn't know how bad it was, you know? And then I, I think at the time, like, wasn't really uh, speaking to any of my parents and stuff. And uh, she actually ended up calling them. They showed up and I was like, fuck. Saw my mom, saw my wife. They're all crying and shit. And I'm just like, fuck. Like, like this shit fucking sucks. I've never been in, I've been in pain, but that fucking, all that shit. I, I, and I, I can guarantee you it gets worse. Because it did. <laughs> 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 so then, uh, fucking, so they, they go, right? And they're like, all right, well, yeah, they they look at my fucking x-ray me. And they're like, oh, yeah, I think we have, like, some broken bones on the back, on the ribs. And then some compound fractures on his lower back. And I'm like. Oh, no, that's just my rib out. Like, I've had that for, like, a couple of years. Like, my rib comes out of my spine. What the? And then uh, my compound fracture is just skateboarding, landing on my ass, and just, like, you know what I mean? I, I let them know, like, no, that's not from the accident. She only got hit here yeah. in the foot. You see oh. that mangled fucking, yeah. it looks like hamburger meat? Yeah, that's, you know? So I was actually very lucky that my foot just didn't fucking fly away and, like, get cut off because I guess that's usually what happens when people wear vans and chucks. So. <laughs> and I tell I I don't want to fucking tell people that because I'm like so wear boots guys you have to wear safety boots. first man safety I mean first. if you're gonna fucking do it there's a reason why bikers wear boots yeah yeah get some cool ones <laughs> <laughs> worth the price yeah. ox blood I had some ox blood, yeah. blood ones so, I want to get some again but I don't know if I can find the same ones I want the same ones so how did that I mean you told the story very well about this uh, motorcycle accident how did that change your tattooing. Correct. Oh, dude. So, was the lesson. Remember, I told you everybody wanted to buy my painting? Yeah. And they were oh. offering me more money? Yeah. So, I think it was up for sale. <laughs> dude, fucking, I, I, I had two surgeries and, uh, you know, I was the only one working in my family. So, my wife was like contemplating going back to work. I'm like, man, you know what? Let me hold it down. Uh, I think I was out for like four weeks, maybe five. I want to say fucking, yeah, I was in the hospital for like two weeks. Mm-hmm. had like two or th- two surgeries. And uh, yeah, I got some cadaver bone in there. And then they were contemplating of chopping the foot off or not. But uh, luckily I had me uh, a younger surgeon mm-hmm. that I felt like he, you know, when you, you, you have some project that you're like, oh, I've never done that before. But let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, I got that guy. I got lucky. Because <laughs> if it was an old surgeon, he would have just been like, it's beyond repair. Hack it. Because it shattered, men shattered. Yeah. I had a bunch of rods through my toes, side of my foot. Um, saw that. So then I'm like fucking laid up, fucking miserable, all depressed and shit. Can't tattoo, can't work. I can't even wipe my own ass. Yeah. It was sad. Lost all this weight, you know. Um, so then uh, they got me, I think they gave me like a bottle of like, hundred oxys or some shit the fucking thing looking like those pod containers with a bunch of oxys and they're like here yeah take four a day bitch like <laughs> fuck. oh damn so then i legitly need them when you take pain pills for when you need them they don't hit you like when you take them for fun <laughs> <laughs> you know um so then dude i started getting like pretty hooked on the oxys and i'm like i need to stop taking them because i want to go back to work and i i don't fucking tattooed like that you know and i don't fuck around like that you yeah. know so i'm like hey, let me wing myself off of these so the day that i decided to go back to work four or five weeks later still fucking in a cast fucking pins coming out of me 
I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to take oxy today. Dude, my stomach just started turning. I fucking started sweating. <laughs> Feeding for it, huh? Oh, man, my stomach hurts. Maybe I should just take one. <laughs> Dude, it was bad. It was so bad. I had it. I'm like, hey, you know what? Let me take half. Mm. And then only take half of whatever I was taking. And then, you know, when I'm at work, I won't take any until I get home if I need it. I thought my dumb ass was going to be able to go to work with a broken leg. No. Oh, no, I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're using coils at the time? Coils. So coil you had power. to step on your... Um, with their other foot? Left your left foot. Left foot. <laughs> Did it feel weird? No, I've been no. I've been skateboarding all my life, so like I would sprain my ankles all the time. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sprain my dominant ones, my right one. So, so I learned how to goofy. drive a car with my left foot mm. just in case I had to ever drive myself. It's, uh, skateboarding, man. It's <laughs> another little yeah. life hack. You life see? Hack, huh? um, so I learned how to drive with both. So I'm like, oh, I, I can step on it. Yeah, not, not a big deal. Um, so then I'm there. Um, I do this, my first comeback tattoos on my buddy Ryan, and I do this traditional fucking black and gray ship. Thank God it was traditional. <laughs> Bold nine round liner. Brr. You know, it's a lot easier than a tight three. Mm-hmm. Fucking black, little whip shading, fundamentals of tattooing, 101, easy. Right. With a broken foot, not so easy. Out of commission, can't even wipe my own ass kind of deal. Hard. I didn't realize how weak I was. Mm. It was hard holding the fucking machine. I, even after just, I lost so much body. Just when your body's going through trauma and shit, like my leg got all skinny. I got it was, it was weird. I was weak. It was it was weird. Um, but I fucking did it. It took me a little longer. I did it. Came out good. You know, I didn't fuck it up. So I was like, okay, cool. I can I can work. Mm. And uh, so at first I was sitting down like this, and this is how I was tattooing. Fucking crooked ass back, fucking y'all, dude. Give then a after, lot of respect, sorry to interrupt, but you give a lot of respect to Jose Lopez for how, how he tattoos. Oh, now. dude, fuck. Because you yeah. you were experiencing it yourself, dude. Fuck, it was it, it was wild, man. Um, then I figured out I was supposed to be elevating my foot this whole fucking time, mm. so that's why I was like, well, if I just keep it here, it's elevated, right? right. Not stupid, it has to be elevated to above be your fucking heart. <laughs> I need fucking money. I put my paintings up for sale. Nobody wanted to buy shit. I'm like, hey, five hundred bucks for this painting. If you guys, you know what I mean? Nobody bought it. Crickets. Nah, I think I, the guys at the shop started to go fund me. I think I got like seven hundred bucks. I was like, yeah, like you know, my family helped a little bit. Hundred bucks here, hundred bucks there, you know. And then I'm staying with my chick's grandparents, so they were kind of like, hey, well, like we get it, you know what I mean? And they were in a position where they could help us out with like the rent or whatever for however, you know, a month or two. Um, but I didn't want to, I'm like, I, I got to go back to work, you know? So then I decided to just put my fucking foot down and just let it drop and just tattoo. Fuck it. I elevated in between tattoos. <laughs> in between tattoos. I, I, I'm used to a work day being from 11 to 1 or 2 in the morning. That was my yeah. work day for... The whole time I was there at Sick Dogs, you know, mm. and I fucking either did a bunch of these size tattoos or, you know, two of these, an arm and another arm or a side or some shit, you know. You still work like that, huh? I try not to. Uh, I try not this dude to. dude knocks out like three tattoos in one day. I try <laughs> not to. Um, so then, fuck, so I just put it down and that was probably worse going home with my leg would swell up like fucking this big the swelling was so fucking bad Mm. i would take half an oxy just to fucking dude i would cry i would cry when i would go home that's how much it fucking hurt like and you know like men don't fucking cry yeah i mean i was like oh (laughs) oh, it hurts you know so fuck that happened i was like shit so so that went on for fuck five, six months, eight months. It started changing me to a different cast. I had a scare one time because it looked like I had gangrene on it, but it was just like a little bit of a scab that didn't fall off on my foot. And I saw the doctor's face like, oh, we're going to have to cut his fucking leg off right now. I'm like, oh, bitch, like, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. So then, uh, fuck it, dude. I took the cast off. They started walking. I had a pimp limb. Fucking, and it felt like I was stepping on Legos the whole fucking time. Every time I st- took a step for a good 
fuck, almost after the year I got hit I, for a good year, I still felt like that. No way. Yeah. So you seen some of my stories? Yeah. I fucking not anymore, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, some days it'll hit me. Some days it'll hit me, but uh, I'm learning to just fuck. It happened what 2015. So what is that? Seven. Seven years. Seven now. years ago. So I've learned to kind of uh, re-strengthen everything. Even my some of my muscles on this leg are still not. I didn't, I didn't again, get full no? mobility on it. So like I can't crouch all the way down on one side, you know? So then I just kind of, I relearned how to skateboard. Fuck. I started doing jujitsu. Fucking broken the toes like two other times since then from jujitsu. But that's, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, how did you go from, all right, getting back into being you know established again okay. to so now. Do you remember when before I got hit by the car, yeah. everything was perfect. You're you're you checking out the fucking, fucking clouds. blessed, fucking great, right? Yeah, getting hit by the car, bring so, everything down. That's so a blessed. Or it, blessed because I I still survived and you know yeah. still here. Um, but uh, you know it, it was just in a shitty spot, you know. And then uh, so I get up, get up, got a lawyer, fucking. Lady was trying to say she didn't run a red light. Um, fucking, they reviewed the tapes and, uh, ma'am, you're full of shit. You ran that red light. <laughs> you know? You know, and everybody else there with the what was a witness said, nah, she ran that red light. You know? Cop that was there first on scene was a motorcycle cop. So he was like, nah, she ran that red light, that fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. So then, uh, fuck it. You know? She sent me a really nice letter, a couple. Maybe a year later. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Thinking about like what I did to you and what I put through you. You know, she didn't have to do that. But nah, that's cool. You know what I mean? I, I think I was still so salty that I was like limping and like that. I didn't reply to her. I was just I didn't care. Yeah. You know, I was still in like a really depressed yeah. kind of like. Oh, that's fuck, I felt like shit fucking got taken from me. You know. Yeah. So I didn't reply, which I kind of wish I would have now. You know what I mean? Just kind of squash it. You know. Um, it is what it is. So then, got a lawyer. I ended up getting some fucking money. You know, mm. what kind of car was she driving? A Beamer, sir. <laughs> 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 well, what kind of Beamer? Is it a newer one? Is it an older one? I'm like the one that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It was the yes. kind that fucking hurt. <laughs> yes, dude. I'm just like man, like. You know, so then ended up getting some money back, some money back. <laughs> so compensated, compensated. And uh, dude comes back with like, oh, her policy is 100 racks. I'm over here like, cool. <laughs> you know, like 100 racks. Yeah, I'll take 100 racks. Yeah. But uh, my fee is 33%. Yeah. The doctor's <laughs> the 33%. Doctors, uh, I think both of my surgeries, I think it was like 180,000. Oh, man. But and at the time, I think uh, I had medical because I wasn't doing that great, you yeah. know. Yeah, hint, hint. <laughs> medical. <laughs> so, uh, so I guess when you have that, you gotta uh, if you get some money back, you gotta kick them down. Mm. And then my lawyers are like, "Don't trip. They charge you two hundred bucks for a saline, uh, some sweat oil or something. Really, they only paid like ten dollars or like ten cents. That's what you pay. Like uh, everything is broken down to them. Broken I'm like, down." 180? No, sir. More like 20,000. I'm like, okay. So what does that leave me with? So minus this, minus that. I think I ended up getting like 45 grand after everybody got paid, you know? And the lawyer didn't do shit. He just took the first offer because he was like 30 something thousand dollars for him in his pocket. You know yeah. what I mean? He, he didn't want to fucking spend more time if he didn't have to. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. He's like, oh, yeah, we looked it up. She doesn't really have anything of value, you know. Or I'm like, I don't, like, at the time, I don't even know. I didn't even fucking want it. You know what I mean? I didn't even want the money. I was just so, like, proud to be like, well, I'm fucking walking. I can work. So that's all that matters to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. But imagine if, like, fucking paralyzed from the yeah. neck down. 45 grand to be paralyzed Fuck from no. the neck down or that's some shit like that. Or, or lost my fucking leg. It's three months of survival for somebody, you know, with all the... Dude, it, to it's me, nothing. I was like, fuck that. Let's Especially move forward. 
Yeah. Let's move forward. I can still make money. I can still provide. I can still work. There ain't nothing wrong with me. Fuck that. Ponte las pilas. Vámonos. Yeah. You know? So then I got the money. At the time, people were like, so what are you going to do? Are you going to buy a car? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah I, I fucking bu- let me buy a fucking car. So I'm like, why would I buy that if like I can just pay for it in payments? And you know, I'm like, I started thinking about my future. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> so I started thinking about my future and just like, you know what? Let's get close to the mic a little bit more. There we go. You know what? What do I? You know, thirties are rolling up. You know, owning a shop was kind of on my like one day maybe when i get older you know and it was kind of like well i got startup money let's do it you know um so that was an uphill battle um doing all that finding people to work for me and all that um so i ended up quitting sick dogs to go to uh to open up my own spot and uh jose lopez that was the first shop he ever worked at, his sick dog tattoo. I would see Jose Lopez's first airbrush painting in the back room every fucking day. Mm. And it was immaculate. And guess mm. what? He didn't like it. That's why he gave it to Frank. <laughs> he was like, not good enough. Wow. And it, fuck, I wish I had a picture. I, I probably do, but, you know. Um, Carlos Torres. That was his first shop he ever worked at before he went to, to Terry's shop. Terry, yeah. So, the, Ben Grio. I don't know if you guys know who Ben Grio is. No. So, he worked at Tattoo Land for a minute. But he, if you look up Ben Grio's stuff, Ben Grio's tattoo, he is fucking wild. Micro tattooing little Jesus on the earlobes, on the fucking fingers. OG, fucking is triple. Is he the OG. one that started the inside the ear? Triple OG. I mean, he's been doing that shit fucking single fucking needle little baby portraits forever. And I got to meet him there and I'm like, why? Hey, why'd you do that? I just want to see what it, if it was possible. Like, Die. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I, there's a couple little micro dog portraits that I've done on fingers and little cholo clowns. So I got inspired by that. I'm like, cool. Hey, is this where you sat? <laughs> <laughs> this is where the magic's at? You know, like... I, I still miss my spot there. I miss my little corner, um, but it was it was awesome, dude. I, I got to I got to learn how to tattoo traditional tattooing there, neo traditional uh, Japanese. I fuck I can tattoo a koi fish, no fucking problem. Cherry blossoms, I sharpie them on, no fucking problem. I, I felt like, you know, like that style of work was never like my forte because I wasn't like strong at you know growing up i didn't draw that so it was kind of like i'm gonna fuck up this gotta beat that right now <laughs> but i've <laughs> learned i've learned to really just say fuck it <laughs> no and enjoy enjoy it you know yeah. now now they come in and I, I really do love that style and like you know um you know if i don't complain about it no more yeah because i did it and i think we complain about the stuff that we're not like if we're not really strong, like with that style, like, like I don't like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I don't know. I, I just I, I I see a pattern. And I'm like, is that why I don't like it? Because I suck at it. <laughs> like, All right, let me get better at it. You know what I mean? Um, it helps me with line work. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, see, crispy. Yeah, crispy. Clean. That's crispy. So you feel like your shop? You named the California Rose. You feel like you learned a lot from. Um, Sick dogs and oh, dude, they, incorporated it, a lot of into your business. It it made my tattoo career being there. It made just the way he runs the shop and just the way he carries the business and you know it's a staple and it's a little staple in the tattoo history. Jose Lopez, yeah. Carlos Torres, those are big fucking. I didn't names. had no idea those were there. Those are big. They're fucking, big names here in <laughs> California and. All over worldwide. the US. Worldwide. Even worldwide, yeah. Steve Soto worked for uh, Corona Tattoo, and that's mm-hmm. Frank's uh, sister shop. It's so. crazy how everybody just, you, mm-hmm. you like, if you put a rewind, 
Mm-hmm. They all go back down mm-hmm. to like. Well, I mean, uh, talking to Terry, we learned that too. Like everybody mm-hmm. um, starts off from one place and just it just branches yeah. out. Branches out. Yeah, it's 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 wild. Like you know? Terry's on SoCal Tattoo for what thirty years too, mm-hmm. and a lot of great artists came out from that shop. Mm-hmm. Like Carlos Torres, but after I guess after Sick Dogs worked. No, no, he started at Sick Dogs. Bro. He started at Sick Dogs. Yeah. We, 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 we claimed them. Yeah. We claimed them. <laughs> Even though he doesn't say it. No, he would. He would <laughs> Creo que ni se soca tattoo either. No. Nah. Yeah. But uh, so then, you know, I said, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to open up a shop. So opened up a shop first year, just me by myself, grinding, you know. Um, it was just you for a year? For a good year, yeah. I think a couple months in, I got an apprentice, two apprentices. Was, uh, everybody that was coming in was like, well, why'd you leave the other shop? Well, the wife's owner caught us with the fucking stripper in there, and like she was stripping. And I'm like, oh, I can't, we can't have all that here, man. Sorry. Wow. You know, it's like you could tell it's all party time. And yeah. Older, I'm like, hey, man, I just, I just want to do cool fucking tattoos and meet cool people and hang out, you know, and like build a, an environment to where people can grow and feel comfortable. You know what I mean? Um, and it, it's, it's cool. We have a good variety of artists. Uh, Dudes that have worked at other world-renowned shops, and they're there, and we're all fucking holding it down, you know, inspiring each other and, you know, trying to push each other, you know. Um, So, you know, I struggled a little bit with the drinking, Um, you know, opening up shop, pretty stressful by myself, you know, I got all this overhead now. Fucking those forty five grand that I got from that accident. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you, you guys, Fast, fuck, you guys yeah. fucking know. know. You guys know. People are like, yeah, I'm gonna go open my shop. I'm like, hey, you know, like at least a minimum of like this much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, you know, so it's not easy. And then people want to come in and like, you know. And I think at the time that I was opening up, the tattoo game was changing too. It was. Which year was this? 2017 i felt like it started yeah, kind of changing, so changing like, the like year before we opened up people were like well no i don't want to give you 50 percent of what i'm making you yeah. know but there i'm like you have to fucking do that you have yeah. to do that in the early years you just have to because it's like it's like paying your fucking dues man you got to pay your fucking dues no matter where you go you got to pay your fucking dues legit no matter what job you mm-hmm. A- anywhere you know yeah i, I feel like that is something you have to fight with new artists because you know everybody wants everybody knows that now every every tool is accessible to you and you can just do it out of anywhere. Yeah. So they're saying, why should I pay you fifty percent? Well, if I could just do it at my house, right? Well, but there's you don't understand. Did you spend fifty grand to open up? Exactly. Fifty, sixty grand to open up? No. Yeah. Okay, that's why. Yeah. As simple as that. You know what I mean? It's like well then. It is what it is, you know what I mean? And there's going to be people that are hungry and want the opportunity. And people, that, there's different levels, you know, and you got to gauge where you're at. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's like, hey, you've been testing for six months and you want to go here? I'm like, you got a lot of learning to do. Maybe but it's you should. also where you want to put yourself in. Like, do you want to, is it worth for you to pay that money and be around amazing artists that are going to help you grow as well? Yeah, or well, there's, there's a lot of benefits to yeah. doing that. You know what I mean? That. You alone in a private studio, you might not be doing that much growing. You know, you're going to get stagnant. You're going to get stagnant. It's mm-hmm. not if or when. It, you are. Yeah. You know, and being around other people as artists, it's like we do the most growing when we when we meet a new artist or like, fuck, a new friend. And just like, you're like man, we have all this common ground. Like, well, what's up? Well, fuck. Well, I, hey, I use this, you know, Panther ink. I use this ink. Oh, shit. Well, what's your drop count? You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, like, well, fuck, let me try that. You know, hey, what are you running that at? I don't hey, know, bro, when I was that? there, you were like this, like, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, did, did, did you start using that flux or something? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I think I, I talked it up pretty well. He did. He did. <laughs> did I'm like, he? Yeah. I'm like, hey, this fucking thing rocks, dude. I'm like, I That's when I was know. running the Cheyenne first, and then you got the flux. I was like, I don't know about the he flux. He didn't want to get the flux? Dude. I got the flux. <laughs> is that what it is? Yes. Uh, Come on, bro. Come on. Uh, you don't want to admit it, but, <laughs> but that's really what happened. Yeah, no. that's you really know what, he wanted it, but that's you That's really no, what happened. But you I influenced them. I didn't like, I don't know why I didn't like about it. Um, I think it was either the weight or the grip. He or something wanted like to be that. fancy. He'd be like, let me change my stroke. Here. <laughs> <laughs> With the Cheyenne. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's. Uh, it's, it's what would, what, um, 
what tips would you I mean you have an amazing story dude that that motorcycle is epic you know like how it changes you and it was able to give you this opportunity where you're at now as a, you know well, as, and it throughout gave me this time. opportunity that was kind of a curse and a blessing also. Well, yeah, it's all perspective, right? Oh, no, it's definitely... <laughs> I'm, <laughs> definitely I'm definitely fucking up a lot, you know? I'm, oh, you know, oh, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, to the drinking, right? I'm drinking a lot, you oh. know? I'm stressed out. I got all this overhead. I'm here by myself, you know? Fuck. Got a lot of figuring out to do, and uh, it's affecting my home life. I'm not even seeing my fucking kids. Like, I see my kids in the morning when they're sleeping before they go to bed. When I come back home, they're fucking sleeping. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. for this last five years, I've struggled to find a, a balance. And this is, I'm finally to that happy spot again before I got to hit by that motorcycle right fucking now. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're so, noticing the clouds again. Yeah, you know but he's saying? still paying attention to the road. <laughs> right, right, right. It's, it's dangerous. Saying, it's dangerous, right. man. People the clouds are beautiful. People like, on their phone, you know, yeah, like dangerous. everybody's dicking around. It's like, man, you see people are like, why is he driving like shit? You roll up to him, they're like, oh, they're phone. checking their Instagram, like, yeah. fuck, you know what I mean? Like, that ain't yeah, cool. Yeah, and that could have been you know? an honest mistake from the lady, you know what I'm saying, yeah, too? Because I, my dad, yesterday, I was talking to him, and yeah. he's like, dude, I was talking, I noticed, you know, we were just talking about, he was driving with his friend, and... He was just not paying attention to the road and he was looking this way. And then his his uh, friend on the passenger said, hey, watch it. Do, and then he saw the red light. Yeah. So he, he hit the brakes. Yeah. As soon as he hit the brakes and he passed like a wheel past the line. Here comes a white truck, he says, minutes, seconds later, going 50 miles an hour. Had he not stopped, we yeah. would have had this. We, uh, I probably wouldn't have been. We probably wouldn't have had this podcast, obviously, because yeah. he would have been dead, dude. So it could have been an honest mistake that changed somebody's lives, but it happens day in, day out. Yeah, dude. You know, I, you know, I think about it, and now it's, I'm like... But it's what you, you get out of it, it's, too. It's, I mean, like you said, you look at the positive a lot. That's I have had Google because I've been at the, the bottom of, you know, and so yeah. I just I think you got to be there to kind of really start appreciating what you have. And, like, life's too short. Life's too short to hold grudges, to just be negative all the fucking time. You know what I mean? You feel some guys, I'm like, Mm, nothing's going good for you today. Don't bring that energy over here. <laughs> Don't bring that energy over here. Incense. Be incense. fucking cool, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're breathing. You're good. <laughs> you know, like, so, so I, I quit drinking. I quit drinking and, uh, you know, that uh, two and a half years, I quit drinking. Shh, night and day, man. Night and day. I'm fully focused. I feel like I started because I, in, 2017, the apprentice that I brought in, my buddy Kevin, he got me into jiu-jitsu. I did it for six months. And this was like, my accident was still two years or whatever. And I felt pretty good. Dude, I did it for six months. Rolling around the floor for 30 minutes with somebody trying to fucking choke you or break your arm off will get you in shape. And you're fighting for your life, it, it, you know. If like this is a real situation of like out on the street, like you're fighting for your fucking life, right. you know. Here, like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like our our media specialist over there, Carlo, can relate to this because he does jujitsu. He barely started like three months ago, right? So, dude, you're gonna beat everybody ago. up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see the world different, you know. You see the world different. Uh, I'm training with uh, Coach Nam. He's an ex uh, UFC. Uh, Champion, featherweight champion. Um, he was in that Ultimate Fighter show. Uh, nice. Freaking. Uh, so I did that for six months, six, seven months. And, uh, dude, I felt 21 again. Wow. I felt 21. I felt okay. strong. We're have to start I, doing I, that. Felt yeah. <laughs> I felt good, I dude. I felt, felt 21 <laughs> since. Dude, since well, 21? I was 21. I 21. Since 18, these say. <laughs> since 18? I was not even when I was 21, I didn't feel it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, dude. Um, yeah, that's dope. So I did that for in the beginning when I opened up the shops and trying to de stress and do all that. And then got into drinking, stopped going to jiu jitsu, you know, fucking. So then now we started uh, last year. In December, me and my son, I have a 15-year-old son. And I'm like, hey, man, let's start doing this. Like, I, I feel like if I do it with somebody, I'm like, it's my, it's my boy, you know. I get to hang out with him. 
I'm like, cool. Hey, let, let's get black belts. <laughs> All right, cool. You just went to the store and buy it? Or? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you got to earn it. You got to earn it. So, so we're, how many months is this? Uh, so about nine months in it. And uh, we're going to do a tournament in San Diego on my birthday next month. Wow. And he basically talked me into this tournament because you, yeah. you're gonna do a tournament too. Are you, are you doing the one in San Diego? Naga. Yeah, Naga. Uh, what weight division? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass. Bro, you, you might. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, I'm going to be in the, the master's division, so yeah, we won't have to face each other. That's the same weight I was going in. I'm going to be in the old Farks division. So. But hopefully, hopefully there's somebody in my division, but uh, I mean, I'm a fucking white belt still, so, you know, under a year, what is it, beginner or novice or whatever, I'm like, uh, so I'm, I'm like, well, I'm beating, I'm, I'm tapping everybody in my class. Everybody's getting it. That's right. You guys heard it. <laughs> <laughs> they know. They know who. Um, and then, uh, I, well, last month I hurt my knee and I was just pretty much playing defense the whole fucking month. So not really, I couldn't be too aggressive or like not aggressive, but just like, like it, it pushed this way. And my knee hurts, you know, I'm like, ah, so, so then my knee feels good this month. So. Going Everybody's been getting it. No, I, I was still training with my knee messed up, yeah. you know. I just kept on going. So we we're gonna do the tournament. Um stop drinking, jujitsu, changing the way I'm eating. Um my son has diabetes, there's an autoimmune disease. My wife has another autoimmune disease. Um the doctors with her condition kind of opened up her eyes with like the modern medicine. And uh, she had a Facebook group that uh, the condition she had, everybody was like, hey, you got to change your diet, you know, because it, it's helped us. Over 6,000 people are saying that, mm -hmm. you know, and somebody's like, well, how do you know? I'm like, my wife fucking read every fucking comment. Like when you're a slave to like your house and you can't go anywhere, you know, because everything you eat, you got to like fucking it, it goes in and out, you know, mm -hmm. so. She's all like, what the fuck, you know? So the doctors are like, hey, well, you're going to get, we're going to put you on this medication, but uh, it gives you cancer. Shit. So that's their fucking solution. It gives you, sorry, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> um, it gives you cancer. And this other one gives you cancer more. <laughs> so, oh, and then like, she's, which it, is the bad, the so, bad, and then she told her, so. well, hey, like I have a Facebook group and they told me to change my diet. She, and the doctor's like, no, it has nothing to do with your diet. Damn. And she's like, well, she's like, well, what, 6,000 people are wrong? She's like, well, if you want to listen to them, then go ahead. But I'm not going to see you if you're not going to take the medicine I'm taking, giving you. I was like, damn. Damn. So my wife said, fuck it. Let me figure this out the natural way. She got her stuff under control. Um, licorice fucking pills and CBD. Wow. Inflammation of uh, the colon. That's what the your body's fighting your your colon, so it inflames it. Um, so yeah, my son has diabetes. Same thing. Um, so then we kind of had to like. It's kind of hard for her to like. Hey, well, like I can't fucking have that. Um, so I'm gonna eat this fucking rabbit food or stuff that's blah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we really and then him. He has to if he don't have insulin, he dies. Damn. So like we got to keep his blood sugar. So it's it's a lot that led to like a different lifestyle choice. You know what I mean? Um, but we're eating healthier. And then I got everybody to start doing jujitsu. Nice. My wife, my two kids, my other what? oldest. My little girl is eight years old. She's a killer. Yeah. <laughs> She's tapping out all the little boys. She likes it. I'm like, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's the silly? What's up, Eliana? So you know, um, so it's 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 been a lot, you know. Um, recently, you know, I'm starting thinking about retiring. I told you guys, mm -hmm. bought some land in Texas. Uh, nice. So the the plan for that is uh, forty five, right? 
45. But uh, I'm going to be going out there every two months and just trying to build a clientele. Just slowing down and tattooing and then, you know, enjoying my family a little more. Um, spending more time with them, making memories. I think that's that's what life's about is uh, spending your time with your loved ones and, you know, making good times. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, I, fuck, you go to work, you know, spend time with your family, have a great time, have an adventure, like, fuck, any day of the week. Like, you know, hands down. Uh, so the goal for that is to eventually grow our own shit know what we're putting in our you know fruit vegetables uh make it fully self su sufficient own source of water freaking solar i want to be completely off the grid like where i'm like nah i got i got bees i got honey i got fucking whatever so that's that's and this was solely because <clears throat> of the 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 conditions that you're your family I, I, I was getting so. or did you get influenced and, and, by somebody i think the life the mm -hmm. life the grinding of work and like i love it don't get me wrong i fucking love it mm -hmm. i I'll go to work I, I i love it but i can't do it forever you know what i mean if i stay here in california fuck i gotta work till i die yeah. i can't retire you know what i mean like not comfortably you know what i mean there i'm like shit tattoo two three times out of the week Slow down a little bit. Let's call go it Texas fishing. Rose Tattoo Gallery. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even Organic know. Organic Rose. I don't know. I it, it, shit. Probably nah, a Western cool. name or some shit. I don't even know. I, I saw this shop actually. They had the what is it? Shooters. I'm like shooters. <laughs> <laughs> I went down to Shooters and I got a tattoo. I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? Like Shooter McGavin. Like Happy Gilmore. <laughs> I'm like. But Call it you Tombstone. Know, oh, have you been to Tombstone? No, but I love Dude, the movie. Oh, you gotta stop. On the I way to Texas, we stopped at Tombstone. The client told me about that. You gotta go. It's a shit. It's yeah. a shit. I wanna go back. They have the best fucking like root beer bottle. Like Huckle they make it there and Huckleberry Tattoo Studio. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just Huck get into it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. No, no, I don't cool. know. No, that's cool, man. That's I don't cool, know. That. So you know, I, I just thinking you know, of slowing down. I feel like here we get lost in the sauce and like like i said i've used to grinding 11 to 1 2 and it's still not i don't feel like it's enough you know what i mean mm -hmm. i feel like but now that i have this balance of family and work mm -hmm. and a goal of what do we escape this busy life that uh you know we've, we we got to do it or else you know we can't survive out here like that you know if you're not grinding and hustling you can't survive you know so, so you clearly have a lot of experience, right? And uh, our podcast is to help people out. So what would you recommend young artists? Like, uh, we give them, they're just starting out. Get what, a motorcycle and tips? get hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> we, There's a quick <laughs> hack. <laughs> Life hack. Life hack. Life hack. You know? What three tips uh, would you give them, bro? Um, Really? If, if you want to get into tattooing and... uh. Be about it, you know, learn. I think you got to look at the past to create the future. You know, I'm a big believer of that. You know, there's a lot of tattooers that don't know what's what and who's who, you know, because yeah, I, I feel like we still got to honor like the guys that came and paved the, the road that's behind us. Give them credit, you know. Um, and I think you, you really got to, make a plan of attack plan of attack is always good uh, you know in some way i've always had a plan even if it's just like you guys heard it you know i'm like i need this life yeah. helps you out you know um doors open but i think another good one is uh, really homing in on the artwork and like you know because i feel like trying to take your own references or just even really learning you know, like you got to ask yourself this. If the world, as we know, it ceased to ex stop like printers and computers and the Internet fucking stop working. How many tattooers could still do these nice tattoos that they're doing without the technology that we have? How many of them can still do it? I think Not a lot. 
What do you guys think? 20% maybe? That Low. can't? Probably like 75%. You know, no, that that, 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 can, that can, yeah, 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 no, that, oh, no, I'm saying that can, oh, that can, yeah, good 70, 80 percent would, think would one, take a shit and like yeah. not be able to do the same Anything, thing that yeah. they're doing, like, hey, draw this, hmm? bro. I'm an artist from five years old, you know what I mean? I can sketch yeah. out anything freehand, yeah. I don't need anything, but I do notice because I use my stencils super detailed, yeah, because it's just easy, I don't have to think, yeah. you know what I mean? It's just, it's a guide, so you know? that. For a young artist, if they're not learning the craft outside the Photoshop and everything, if they're not learning how to put their own textures in, mm-hmm. they're in trouble if they just rely on the Photoshop. Mm-hmm. Or fuck, yeah. the one time half of the face fucking yeah. <laughs> wiped off. You know what I mean? Even just that, <laughs> like right there, that one right there, and then uh, for sure, learning how to draw and taking care of your body and your mental state, as far as like. Be where you want to be. Focus mm-hmm. and like really, you see, you guys seen it. It's, it's, you know, I feel like I've been the clearest I've ever been. And I'm not like, I smoke weed, you know what I mean? But weed to alcohol, it's like for me, for me, I know that, <clears throat> hey man, alcohol wasn't doing it for me. You know what right. I mean? Because my, my quit button wasn't installed when I was born. You know, I didn't have that. <laughs> 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 so you know so i i know that's a problem for me you know yeah. what i mean and so you realize it and well but i did all these good things like learn how to tattoo shit uh-huh. face so like you know what i mean but then slowly my body started saying hey maybe you're done you know yeah. and you started seeing a stunt of you growing more uh th- from where you were at i right? think so but i feel like i needed to go through that craziness to come out and see the clear and yeah the you know, direct route that I want. You know, now I, I have a life goal. I'm like retired by 45. Fucking this place we're going to call a home, make it a certain way. You know what I mean? Right, you could build your own theme park in that fucking Dude, land. Um. so, <laughs> so you know, I think everybody thinks about freedom. And like, uh, to me, I, the way I define freedom is, uh, you know, like, like we have all these processed foods and all this crap that, you know, Hey, this spam is going to be good for a year. Bitch, what's in that? (laughs) You know what I mean? That can't be good for you. You know, when the fruit lasts six months and the fucking flies don't even want it, Mm. that's a problem. Nature's Mm. telling you that's a problem. And we're still like, no. So like, to me, I feel like we've been enslaved. Like we're enslaved to the dollar, the food we're eating, the air, the water we're breathing. So I want real freedom. We can get into that whole another podcast. Oh, no, that, 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 is, that, that, that hap- I think that happens in every tattoo shop, right? We oh, all, we all oh, I got, have our own conspiracies oh, on that. Cause oh, we say, we let me tell you what. You guys got a guy? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't me. have a guy, oh, you got to tell oh, me. I was there for that guy. I, I was that guy for a little bit, and then I got out of it because I was like, you know what? Well, you're spending too much time where it's like, mm, how's this being? I mean, acknowledging certain things yeah. and knowing certain things is cool and have it behind. But, but, I, exactly. but it's not going to. Yeah. Don't let kind it of be consume kind of you. a little bit, um, you know, conservative, um, open minded. No, where you just you like, don't know anything. What's the word like bliss? Like a just, bliss to it. Just, just in a neutral, yeah. neutral ground. Yeah, kind of. You kind of don't want to know all of it, but you kind of have to know to be kind of half awake. I don't know. It's weird, but um, <sighs> it's a saying for you. I always well, say it. This is something that's, is bliss. What is it? Uh, yes. Um, you know what I'm ig- ignorance is ignorance bliss. is bliss. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So but you're right. We are in a matrix. You know, you're trying to escape the matrix. Oh, the- yeah. I said the word. Yes. I said the word. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So these are the pills, bro. Which one you want? The red pill the blue or blue one? pill? <laughs> uh, take both. Those are really good tips, man. Going back, you know, because this is a podcast. I thought you were going to give me high fives. <laughs> no, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I thought yeah. it was a matrix thing where you guys were going to be like, oh. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> But yeah, I think so. That's that's my definition of freedom. Yeah, you know, that's and I think it's it's changed the last couple of years. You that's know, awesome, man. And I, I think it's just it's come from my family, our like ordeal with like yeah. conditions, and then just life, you know, hitting yeah. us a certain way, and like we're like well, we're done with the bullshit, you know. Yeah. So, so another question we like to ask our interviewers is, where do you see this industry going? Like. With new artists coming in, Ooh, great old artists retiring, you know what I mean. 
What's your point of view of where the industry is going? It's already, open, you know. We want to hear it, from. It's already happened. It's already happened a couple of times. I yeah. caught the end of an era, you know, the beginning of a new era, and I'm seeing. I think every ten years is is an era. It you know it's you along ten years or so. Certain people come along, even in any sport, you know, basketball, football, skateboarding, whatever. Like new prodigies come along that change the fucking game, and it's just progression. We can't stop it. It's going to do what it's going to do. But then that's why I kind of go refer to the, hey, like learning a little bit of the tattoo history is good. Mm -hmm. I think if if everybody does it, then I, I think it uh it's a clear road. Like, you know, it's, it's not so messy, not so uncertainty. But I mean, it's already happened. It's going to progression is going it, to it's about progression. Yeah, I think it's just going to keep on getting wilder. I think we're in the, the golden era of tattooing. Definitely we are. You know what I mean? I, I think. It might get a little crazier, and we're starting to see it, but I don't think it's, you know, people are like, well, what about when computers start tattooing? Yeah. It's not, gonna be my life. I, it's not I mean, they've already done it, but it's simple designs, and you better keep your arm the same way, or else so that line's going to be on the you, other side. I, I yeah, dude, dudes dude, in German. Ten years Germany from now, are, we're going to have CB3 over there. No, well, you know what it's going to be? What? It's going to be light. It's going to be some sort of fucking laser, laser that just burns a... Uh, that light turns your skin, this pigment. So you think it's the opposite of tattooing removal? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. The surgeries something, are done. Something's going to change the pigment of the skin. and the, yeah. It's just going to hurt. Like a certain Whoever temperature. figures that out, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> a certain ion laser, right? Yeah. Some it's, bullshit. it's coming, bro. Some bullshit. It's coming. They're going to dip but your I, They're gonna dip your skin in some, some yeah. solvent, right? And then they're going to be like, cool, let's map it out there. Don't move. Do... Do one section, and it'll, dude. They're, they're gonna. It's gonna be like fucking skins, like video game skins. Hey, which sleeve do you want to wear today? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eh, let me get the bio. No, no, no. One. You'll be able to like. Let me get the trad one. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go to an old school bar. Yeah, let me get the trad. Let's one. Let's go even <laughs> further. You know what I mean, let's go even further. What if you have like a uh, fucking oh, watch where you change the look? I want Japanese today. Yeah, dude, it'll be fucking holograms. It'll be holograms. You know what, I'm saying? You know what I mean? It, That's future. Yeah, but I, I think. But we, I like we, something you said, though. We might see it. We yeah. might see it. I don't know. And I'm contemplating, as you were talking about this, you said something important. Um, you know, we should look back at how tattooing was back when it first started or oh, yeah. when it was like, you know. Dude, when the, Tattoo Shop had books. You want a tiger? Maybe there's stuff to learn there to be more competitive now. You know what I'm saying? I think so. Like, it's just sharpening your knives a different way, maybe. You know what I mean? It's like. A little old sauce, a little old sauce, a little new sauce. I yeah. think I've always been, uh, I've always been open minded about new equipment, new technology, new inks, whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? I've always been like, down. Let me try that. You know, because that's how I got better at tattooing. You know, the dudes that, oh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You guys all work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. one of those guys. Yeah, that's that's just you're keeping. No, we don't you're, have, you're, all of us here are pretty. Um, open-minded yeah. now no, yeah, 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 this before, is, oh you know? yeah yeah but back so, in the day so, yeah nah. like, yeah, just try it stop being weird <laughs> i think you have to <laughs> stop <learn>. being weird <laughs> come on man you hey, might, stop hey, being weird hey you might like it you might like it <laughs> <laughs> but careful what you try because you might like it yeah. <laughs> i think you have to learn to adapt to mm -hmm. keep moving on in this world especially moving forward in this industry because it, it's moving so fast you're gonna get left behind and Dude. guess what you're gonna be that person how many amazing artists do we got now you know, yeah. opposed to when we started tattooing, you know, when we started tattooing, there was fucking maybe there 10 like guys, 10. guys that were like mm -hmm. fucking Steve, Jose, Nico. fucking Blackasso, Nico, Mike yeah. DeVries, uh, you know. Now you don't even know names. You just no. know styles like, oh, yeah, yeah. Did oh, that, did you, you see know? that new? Uh, Opaque or something. Yeah, you know, fucking. Freaking three round liner work. Mm -hmm. you know? So definitely it has changed, but there's still room for everybody though. That's the thing. You yeah, know? I, I it think so. Just because it's so saturated doesn't mean you can't get yours. Well, it's just you have to work harder. You gotta so figure out that? a way to do it to stand out. And if if that's that's your goal, you know what I mean. Right. If, if that's, that's your, goal. your goal, I I've and and as, as older cats come out, you know, and they say I want to retire, then you know that makes room for some young one. That, oh yeah, dude, you know, I'd... that got influenced by us, uh, you know. Uh, a certain shop or something you know you know i've uh i worked with uh, a lot of good artists and uh there's this one guy uh his name's uh joe kowalski and he's been tattooing for a long time dude 
And he does nothing but American traditional, right? If I saw this guy use a stencil once, it's too many fucking times. Damn. Mm. Everything that he drew, that he tattooed, he just drew on. And it was sick. Oh, and he, he's fucking fast. Yeah. He would do a whole rib, half a sleeve, and another sleeve in like eight hours. <laughs> Shit. I've never seen anybody run a line like from like shoulder to butt cheek in one fucking shot. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's retired. Um, but he worked with all the old timers, fucking Rick Walters, uh, freaking what's that other shop? Uh, Spotlight Tattoo. So he's worked with all those guys in Shamrock or, mm-hmm. you know, it's a uh, dude. I'm like, and I felt like I had so much to learn from him and I would only catch him every other month because he would come down to visit his kids and he, he'd guest spot at the shop and uh dude when he retired he just sent all his people to me He's like no go to him and uh i think because he saw that i loved tattooing you know what i mean he saw that i really did love tattooing because there's people that do tattooing like yeah cool i tattoo but nah i love tattooing there's there's a difference you know and he saw that passion where i'm like well this fucking kid's trying some other shit you know at the time i'm, I'm a fucking kid you know i'm like yeah me do this fucking he's like damn he spent so much time on that rose but then he's seen the like end result i'm like damn okay you know and he saw he saw me like trying to fuck around like i'm trying to figure that shit out man you know (laughs) and so i picked up some game from him and you know it's right on no but i mean you definitely gave us like a whole perspective dude of how an artist can have it all or feel like he has it all. Oh, dude. And drops it, you know? So but that's just life, too, though. You I know mean, what yeah, I mean? That's, is, that's yeah. life. That's it life is. with any situation. That's why we all anybody. have those trials and tribulations, ups and downs. But that's what makes us stronger. Whatever. And then sometimes it breaks people, but sometimes it fucking makes you stronger. And then you want to... If you see some bullshit right there, it's just being <laughs> go around it. You know what I mean? You, know what I mean? Yeah. you do grow when you're uncomfortable. Yeah. And sometimes you, you realize, you're like, do I, do I need that bullshit? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lose You know? But, yeah, man. I, I, it was fun. I did. I feel like I... You guys got any other questions? Uh, no, I mean, you... I feel I like I'm going to say... You look quiet today. I'm, bro, I was stuck you in the just, story. It's <laughs> dope. Yeah, yeah stories yeah, are good. Tired. Thank you, man. Thank you. Where can people find you if they want to contact you? They love, um, you know, your work. They see your work. California Rose Tattoo Gallery in Anaheim or... Uh, you know, my Instagram's uh, Ignacio Flores Art. Um, yeah, that's the best way to get a hold of me. You know, we'll put check out Texas, check out the California. IG. Yeah, it'll be Texas, California. You know, but uh, yeah, you gotta invite us to Texas, bro. Hey, when I get it all set up, yeah. you guys definitely gotta, gotta come down. Gotta go. uh, that's gonna be rad. We'll do a. a a little mini podcast there you go <laughs> you know we'll, what I mean? we'll start with your podcast over there yeah you know? yeah the huckleberry oh, huckleberry the whiskey the whiskey podcast oh, I can't uh, drink no more but uh, no. well you know what everybody says a long you know forever is a long time so i kind of don't always i just know that right now it's like magical. It's I, I, a cup don't, of tea. sometimes it's a mantoja yeah. don't get me wrong or like an old-fashioned i'm like when you, post them, the when you post them, when you post them, I'm like, oh, that I've looks never good. Never tasted it, and I that and looks I had good. One. I had that. I had a. Oh my oh, god, dude! I'm gonna start putting the bl- not for you, Ignacio. <laughs> <laughs> the black cherries, you, the black yeah. cherries. Oh my god, the cosmopolitan in Vegas, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking best ones you'll ever fucking yeah. have. Yeah, it's yeah. so good. <sighs> Just not that great. They're just not that, that great, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's the bonus. It's the bonus. But yeah, man. Uh, no, well, we thank you, man. Yeah, thank man, you no, for thank sharing you guys your story. Me, like, story. That was, uh, you, you tell a good story, man. Sh- you know, I didn't know how I was going to be. I was like, am I going to fuck it up? I'm like, maybe I should smoke. No, you had me like. I'm glad I didn't smoke because I would have been like retarded. Yeah, man, that's it. Now, I'm glad you decided to change your mind because I did ask him when we first started and he was still iffy about it. Yeah, I I, I felt like I'm like, I don't know, man. That was really good. Hopefully I didn't didn't fuck it up too bad, you know? No, uh, no, man, you did good, bro. You had us riveting right there. We're waiting for, what what was this motorcycle thing about? (laughs) You just tie it in perfect. I didn't know. I was like, I thought you met somebody through that or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right on. So Almost met my maker. (laughs) (laughs) Let's have Romeo close it out, Romeo. All right, Ignacio. 
appreciate you sharing your story. You inspired me. Uh, hopefully, he inspired any other artists. Um, like, comment, and let us know what you guys think. Peace. Thank you, guys. Man. Thank you, guys, for having me. Appreciate you, guys. Yes. It won't be the last one. We'll do another we one. Yeah, do part two, bro. Part two.